any young white man's name is Timmy. <laughs> That's his name. It's reverse racism. No, this little nigga's name is Timmy. For sure. Come on, report on the Why, why they say that to my, my Paul, son you Timmy? Me, I can't really hear myself. <laughs> We're not even going to start with music. We're just going to start with the report from Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, young yeah, Timmy's yeah. mother invited 32 of his nearest and dearest friends to a pizza party at Peter Piper's Pizza. Pe- <laughs> Wait, and, that's- and she was over 32. <laughs> and then to add insult to injury, she then took a sad picture of her child by himself with 32 empty plates and mad pizza and Damn. crying and then sent that to the news. Oh, well, that's how you because, get to go fund me, Papa. Because then the news could put it on social media where everyone's very empathetic and will never make fun of a child right? with the image. I wonder how she invited them. You think it was like a Facebook invite or like a uh, formal nah, I think white. I think white people, I think we still do mail sometimes. Oh, yeah? Wow. The fact that white people still do mail is Word. crazy. I don't do mail. I just want to know why she booked it in this big ass Peter Piper p- p- pizza place. <laughs> she's a hip hop fan. And That's this, why. this little nigga Timmy ain't got no friends. Well, you don't know you don't have any friends until you throw a party. <laughs> yes, you do. <clears throat> nah, because you kind of think people fuck with you. No, you don't. You do. No way. Yeah, that's how you. You find knew out in seriously. kindergarten when people fucked with you or didn't fuck with you. You don't know. I think I not, not at that young. You don't know. All right, no, I want to talk. People about are this. supposed to not fuck with you. And if, at that age, if people don't come to your parties, because the parents, no, all the parents, the parents, parents don't like your shady. parents. Yeah, yeah, they don't like your parents. Her parents Which, by shady. the way, any birthday party I went to in kindergarten, I didn't have a fucking choice. Right. My mom said you're going to this birthday yeah, party. Exactly. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, so her parents, his parents, must be shady. Or, or the mom <laughs> said, "All right, now your little classmates getting too familiar with all these fucking birthday parties every week now. Yeah, I ain't got money to send a little gift for all your little." Fucking bum ass You think all thirty two people had that same uh, realization? But no, but no, no mom is coming upstairs like, "Hey, you want to go to the party?" I'm like, "No, shut my door, mom." <laughs> and that's not happening. Well, maybe in At white six. families, yeah. White kids be little brats. I just want to know what age y'all thought people like started fucking with y'all. <laughs> At what age? Yeah, because y'all just told me that you can re- you can you know when. Niggas is fucking with yeah. you or when you got friends, when you don't got friends. I disagree with that. No, I'm saying at that age, you don't know people who really like you. Oh, that's what you said. Yeah. yeah. No. You throw Tell a me party. What age? Comes what age? Know, Joe, I'm not talking about like I know they'd bail me out type of friends. <laughs> I mean, like, we both like the color red. We like pizza. <laughs> we all like coloring pizza. No, in that's, kindergarten. that's fine. Now I'm asking you guys a different question. At what age did you guys come to the realization that you guys were pretty cool? Probably that, around that, like. That people were accepting of you and who high you school, were. High school, I would say. What's nah, that party? Uh, before shit. that. I'm what am I, twenty eight now? Maybe maybe thirty I'll find out. <laughs> no. Probably about that. <laughs> you won't no, find I'm out. Thirty for the trail off again, so <laughs> whatever you young. got. I'm definitely before high school. Probably right before high school. At thirty yeah. is when you're about to lose a bunch of friends. That's yeah, a fact. exactly. Actually. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be heartbroken. Which friends don't you want to lose? <laughs> hmm. I can't well, can't speak for anyone in this room. As long as we have the Spotify deal, that's what's keeping us together. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Finish with you now. When Spotify said two times a week, fuck. Savon, what episode is this? 190? One ni- Real nigga shit. You oh. heard? Home stretch to 200. Hey, I was single back when this was out. <laughs> you, were, uh, you were never single. That's what I was trying to figure out. When nah, was single for two weeks. I was single when this one, this was out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was lighting incense, trying to set a vibe for the chicks. Oh, you was doing your mating call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left the TV on uh, the j- jams. <laughs> <laughs> On the jams. Hey. Oh no, no, what not even jams. It was soul. One of those that Beats showed all of these. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what did it for him out there. Yeah. Even I don't like how y'all shit on. Let me tell listeners, I asked these guys, Glenn Lewis or Jaheim. They just rushed to Glenn. I think that's a safe rush. Well, I Glenn doesn't get as much love, that's why. That's true. That's why I wanted to shine some light on Glenn, because he's talented. Nah, you my jersey shit, man. Jaheim is from Jersey. Shout out to Jaheim, man. God damn it. <laughs> you both wear questionable outfits. I can see it. That's true. <laughs> That's, true. <laughs> That's the connection right there. It's not That's, New Jersey. Yeah. It's, it's just the, it's outfits. the outfits. Got you. I dress like Jaheim to y'all. <laughs> you, you might dress worse. You're like a Jaheim. darker Jaheim, yeah. Wow. Because you more. He does like the blueberry shit. I'm You're more consistent at bad dressing than I'm Jaheim. Jo- I'm Jaheim? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. God damn, all. 
If you're at work, it's all right to two-step at your desk. You won't get fired at school. No, Joe is not your boss. Yeah, Don't listen. Cool. Yeah. yeah, you might get fired. Don't listen to me. <laughs> all right. Hold up now. Oh, man, I can't cut it off. <laughs> uh, he about to kill us in a second. Hey, don't send no claim in. <laughs> oh, the good always turns to bad. They always forget what we had. Mm. This song might have helped me through a breakup. This was a jam right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you reminiscing, Ma. I see you got to look in your <laughs> eyes, twinkle. nigga. The yeah, you got a little twinkle. Of love lost. What you was going through when Jaheem dropped this one on him? Twinkle. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I just remember. I'm yeah. just listening. Like Pri- I remember Price of the jam. brick went up. <laughs> That's what he was remembering. Oh, I think about it every once in a while. God damn it, Jaheem. That's a classic, for sure. Yeah, I don't know why y'all just shitted on it when I said no, we ain't shit. No, Joe Biden. No, no, no Warrior Ma. Microphone check. One, two, what is this? This is episode 190 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Budden. Here alongside some of my nearest and dearest friends. I'm here with Maul, Parks, Rory, Erickson, and Savon. I want to shout out to the entire Spotify community. Salute. I want to shout out to the YouTube viewership as well. I want to shout out everybody listening from work. I want to shout out everybody listening from home. Now that we got that out the way, 10 more episodes till we out the fucking 100s, goddammit. Round of applause. I might smoke on the 200th episode. Yeah, we uh, got On air? Yeah. So, oh, man, we're going to find crack. <laughs> What? He's gonna cook it. The fuck you mean? <laughs> to? Where am I gonna find crack? That's how I'm gonna kill him. Wait till I come through with the crack edibles. Nah, you're not gonna kill anybody. You're gonna kill, <laughs> kill yourself with the crack edibles. Just mad crunchy. <laughs> the crack edibles. Kill yourself eating crack, nigga. Like pop rocks. But I want to know what would be the first food you would put crack in. Pop Joe? rocks. <laughs> Yo, y'all hating. I'll be a no, billionaire off the crack edibles. No, you won't. You'd yes, I will. You'd be dead off the crack edibles. I'm not taking it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nah, you put it in edible. You're Niggas not going to it. it. The crack gummies? Nobody, crack. Nobody's eating the crack Crunchy gummies. Crunchy ass though. gummies. The crummies? Oh, Jesus the crummies. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> niggas crummies. The, niggas I know niggas. a nigga that'll try that. I'm telling no you, bullshit. a nigga will try I some crummies. Try that. I know a nigga that'll try that. Yeah, you hating, no but bullshit. you gonna want in, just I like on the first season. Of, uh, <laughs> what what show is that? Uh, the Frank Lucas shit. Snow. Snowfall. 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 All right. So what's going on? How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? I'm great now that I know that crack edibles are coming to the market soon. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, see? <laughs> can, can customer we, one for the crummies. <laughs> customer one. <laughs> Trying to invest. Erickson, how you doing over there? Let's take that one to Shark Tank. <laughs> sure. There's a, there's a few of them already know about the crummies. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Mark Cuban would definitely invest. I what? am not saying 100. a word. If about. I was to go on Shark Tank with like two bricks, you think niggas would invest? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, what, what's, the, your, what's your name? Yeah, get out. Damien. What, yeah, what's what your percentage? Percentage? <laughs> yeah, Damien the for sure. Nigga. He's like, yo, <laughs> be in the back. We can talk in the back, homie. <laughs> well, how much the... percentage would they get? I don't know. What's your marketing plan? You wouldn't, what's, what's, what's the, your overhead? What's the shit itself. the girl do the, on the TV? You can QVC? Buy yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't put, Q, uh, put, <laughs> put the bricks, the bricks on, on QVC. QVC. Some bricks on QVC is hilarious. Yo, my name is Joe. Paul. Look at Joe trying to figure it out. <laughs> Look at Joe trying to crack the code. Like, yo, you know what? We might it's be able to do that. Yeah. No, I'm sitting here thinking of the first time I ever saw a brick. Oh. Like in real life. Mm-hmm. Like, man, yo, what are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's up? Like, what's up? <laughs> what's y'all plan? Like, is everyone safe? <laughs> like, I was that guy. <laughs> they knew not to bring shit around me anymore. <laughs> Uh, all right, so what, what do you guys what do you guys want to talk about? Everybody's great. Everybody's copacetic. I don't really have anything important to start with. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, we got the pizza party out of the way. So yeah, the important topics are done. We should get wrapped. We yeah, have sleepers. We got to tackle the important things first. The pizza party's out of the way. Uh, Maul has been dying to talk to me about my ensemble, yes. my state of the culture ensemble. Yes, very interesting choice. Did you see the shoes on camera or no? Yes, they had the Yankee logo on them. Mm-hmm. I saw everything. Tried to clean it up with the Yankee logo. Yeah, that, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Y'all I, like I got to come up there one day. I just need to just walk around and just... Think so? I have to. It's not that much fun. Because yeah. I need to see how he ends up it's wearing, really early. wearing what he's wearing and then like... Oh, you want to be a wardrobe? I just need to see how they lay out Joe's outfits. I need to see who does it. I need to ask them why they do it. Mm. And I need to ask Joe why he's comfortable 
walking on set with that shit on. It's all the shit that Remy Uh-oh. doesn't want to wear. New, new content alert. <laughs> <laughs> I it's all the stuff Remy doesn't yeah, want to wear. Soft. Hardy ha ha. Very, very I, I funny part. I can't believe you walked out there with that outfit. Like, I saw pictures of it, but I was like, it's probably not that bad. <laughs> but then, like, I actually turned to it last night and was, like, watching it. The was angles, it was the angles were out there. I wasn't serving them looks. Nah, fam. Nah, that wasn't drip. No, that is serving that looks. That was drop. That's the definition. Like, you look crazy, Joe. I'm not going to lie. Lie. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't lie to you. You gotta be honest. Well, I didn't think it looked that crazy. Why was the brim so big? To cover the sun. Like, if you had a fedora on, like a smaller, I wouldn't have been mad. It's just that was a big fucking hat. He had his fucking B for Bundetta hat on. No, that was the hat. Remember, I'm gonna get you sucking when they went to the to the bar <laughs> and all the midgets was under them niggas' hats. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I thought a nigga was gonna climb from under Joe's hat. That I was thought he was getting the Halloween spirit, man. That's they, all I thought it was. They called me Jonelle Monet. I called you that. Thanks, Parks. They called you Darkwing Duck. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah, I feel like the internet already kind of solved this. We didn't really need to get into it. Ma- yeah, but Maul was eating Quaker oats. Yeah. He was making, was making Quaker oats I saw the Dutch in his master living one. room. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm Dutch the Dutch master, master guy. Yeah. yeah. You're, You're a Puritan. Glad, I'm glad you guys get a kick out of all this stuff. I, I just, I, I need to see what's going on. Like, who's this? Is it Puff? Puff is, 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 no. is green light now? Give me a, don't mention Puff's name. Oh, my bad. <laughs> It's my I just I know Puff ain't green lighting that shit. How you know? He's not green lighting that. Green lighting. Yeah, like Puff first got, of all, nobody's green lighting it. My no. my looks. Puff would have to green light that. Mm-hmm. Well, As the executive producer, you're allowed to, you know, put your foot down about your ankles being out. Was that a double entendre? That, don't ask me how, but okay, it wasn't intentional. So I should put my ankles away. Put your ankles away. Wear a smaller. You can wear the fedora with the smaller, you know, smaller brim. If you can wear a hat. And, and yeah, put your ankles away. Y'all know yesterday Maul told me I was signed to Twism. <laughs> he wanted to be signed to Twism. He definitely sent Shaq. didn't work out? He sent Shaq a demo. <laughs> for sure. Shaq just sent him back two, two On VHS. Yeah, Shaq sent him back said I was two trying Twism to be hoodies. Twism's first artist. <laughs> yeah, it was him. It was Peter Guns, Joe. So loving hip hop. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. No. No, they eventually did meet up. No, <laughs> it all worked out. <laughs> Life always comes full circle, man. I tell you that one. What do y'all want to start with? I thought we started the pizza party. We didn't start with anything. Oh, well, I mean, party, I, wasn't it? No, we're we all sometimes pizza predict party. things. So I'd like to put in the air that one of us is going to win the Mega Millions. I like that. Mm. I like the way Look you what think. What you're using the predictions for? <laughs> for us, for, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, I like that. For selfishness. You think I want to hit the Mega Millions with y'all? We argued over that first show money. <laughs> speaking of change, this is a word. You think, you think I want 99, 999 million with you niggas? I can see them all already. You know, niggas won't see me. <laughs> You'd be right at Supreme. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. I would be Supreme. Right on the line. I, say. I would be Supreme. Right on line at Supreme. Online. Like, ooh. I went 900 million. No. I'm never if you had a billion online, dollars yeah. and you was on line at Supreme. If I had 900 million, you think I'm ever standing on another line again? Yes. Yeah, right. I think you're going straight to stand on a line. Okay. What you would you do? So? I can't even think about that, man. That's a, That's a lot of money. That's scary. That's scary to think about. I don't think I would disappearing much. would be my first. And having that much money, that is scary. I don't think I would even disappear. I would definitely. I would, I would not disappear. tell anybody that I had ninety nine million dollars. <laughs> no, y'all gonna disappear. I disappear, <laughs> I disappear with nine dollars sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what fuck you talking about? Niggas can't find me when no I got word. ten dollars in my pocket. <laughs> you ever got tax return money? I'm yeah, out of here. Like, <laughs> niggas can't find me. Me and my fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah but no, that that would be that's a scary thought though. That's a lot of fucking money, man. I really did want to know what y'all would do. <laughs> I mean. I would definitely buy a house as my first purchase, and after that, just travel the world. So the podcast. So I was about to say, be a dub. Oh, this shit is a wrap. (laughs) You would stop doing the podcast. Fuck yeah. Why? (laughs) The fuck it. I am the podcast from now on. (laughs) My life is a podcast. Oh my. I was a little mobile. I was gonna say I would find like really weird places for us to do the podcast. Mount Everest. Oh yeah, I would do that shit in a helicopter. Mount Everest. (laughs) First of all, any nigga that says Everest. (laughs) Do the podcast on on it's not Mount a community Everest. college parks. It's, it's cold as fuck out there. Look where parks want to go. Yeah, yeah. To the I'm most white. dangerous place Hello. on the planet. No air. <laughs> no air. We don't need air. The fuck. What the fuck is parks? We have uh, millions parks, of dollars. We get air. Parks gene collection ain't gonna make it at Mount nah, Everest. Nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, <Levi's> <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you need a few more. Yeah, 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 yeah you need, a few need some layers, <laughs> baby. For sure. Some hoodies. Yeah. Some scullies. Sparkling. You ain't a scully guy. I got some scullies. Do you? Yeah, I'm a scully in the winter guy. For sure. 
Yeah, no, he does. I just thought a fitted guy. I don't okay. wear hats, really. Yo, what do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> about Everest. Let's Joe. talk about the uh, the iHeart Awards. Hey! It's getting applause. That's right, lady. That's the nigga. For all the <laughs> nominees. All right, let's hit a round of applause. <laughs> Listen, you guys, you guys listening out there will be pleased to know that I did try to call Charlemagne earlier, no, yesterday, uh, to have him explain some of this bullshit that he's doing uh, to me, and I wanted to laugh at him. He didn't answer the phone, and I made sure to call way after the Breakfast Club was finished recording. (laughs) This was easily like 4 (laughs) p.m. Well, he could have had rehearsals for the, the podcast awards. That's Charlemagne true. is co-hosting the f- podcast awards. Uh, let's see what happened. Then the list of the nominees came out. Maul, this is, is all it, your fault. Can Maul. somebody yeah. pull up a list of the nominees, please? This is Maul's fault. Is it my fault? Yeah, it you is. Did Charlemagne? Ever since these you did Charlemagne, yeah. he just started going harder and harder. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll wear that. Popping up everywhere, making sure mm. that his uh, presence was undeniably felt. Mm. Matter of fact, I think he wrote that whole second book because of more. Mm. Mm. Okay, shook ones. Mm. Okay. That's you. I'm the shook. I'm the shook one. Yes, part one or two. Anxiety. It's a metaphor. Mm. Okay. All right, I have the categories and nominees up here. All right, That's for insane. podcast of the year. Ready for this one? Are we on it? No. We're not on it. <laughs> Spoiler alert. We're, we're <laughs> not in any of the 22 categories. Podcast Damn. of the year. The nominees are The Atlanta Monster. The Daily. I'm not hip to these ones. Dirty John. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> the Habitat. Don Carlin's Hardcore History. The Joe Rogan Experience. I know that one. I like that one. Yeah. I know that one. Yeah, Radio like that. Lab. Cereal. Like Fell off the year. Fell off the year. Slow burn and stuff you should know. I thought Cereal was like three years ago. They redid it? They just put out a new season. Oh. Uh, what do you guys think? Well, listen, I know that podcasts are a very big thing in the world, and I totally understand that maybe we just, we're not hip. We're not hip. But millions could be. But they do, you know, the, like the rap album of the year category at the Grammys, which I imagine would be uh, for us the best <laughs> multicultural podcast. That's us. We are multicultural, I guess. Or best music podcast. So okay, let's cut the yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't care about all of <laughs> this. Let's just cut the shit. So we're I not, don't really give a fuck. So out of about fifteen categories, we're not nominated. Twenty two. Twenty two categories, we're not nominated at all. No. But so is this is this just because I just want to search well, for information? Is this only for iHeart Radio podcasts? I believe so. Oh, that's, oh, then that makes yeah, okay, cool. Joe Rogan's iHeart Radio podcast? Oh, I don't know. Uh, whatever, man. Whatever, man. I'm just honored to not be nominated. If Maul apologizes, but wait, honestly, y'all didn't think y'all would be nominated, right? <laughs> Like, that's what I want to ask y'all. I don't care. You know I don't give a fuck. I know, but did you think that we would be nominated there? Um, At the iHeart Podcast Awards? I would think so. (laughs) From our our Spotify podcast? (laughs) You niggas are so naive, man. No, we wouldn't be nominated. I don't care, but I would have thought so, yeah. But then again, I don't know how any of that. I don't don't know how that shit works. It's politics. It's fuck politics. Good luck to the nominees. I'm with you. Have a blast out there, guys. Yeah. yeah. No way. Oh, damn. I didn't, I didn't, know, is, if I right? wanted, I didn't yeah. know if I wanted to be that guy to wish good luck to the nominees. Oh, okay. yeah, you got to, so let's man. take it back. Good luck to the nominees. No I'm, no, I'm just talking about me. I always ask myself that, like, when they, uh, when I watch the, watch the award shows and they show the nominees that lost and mm-hmm. they're so gracious. Mm-hmm. Like, Which is like the fakest smile. Would I, would I have the strength to be gracious? <laughs> no. No, you Well, you, you, you have to be gracious only because, you know, you don't know what things go in the future. You might be tables turn. You know what I mean? And you want people to be happy for you when you're nominated. And if you want. I actually don't give a fuck if they're happy if we want or not. <laughs> no, I don't care either. But, you know, it's just it's just fun to talk. But about. I will uh, say this is this I guess is great for podcasting if we yeah, want to be political. Yeah, like sure. it's great. I just that didn't doing understand. I saw the Breakfast Club on there. I didn't know the Breakfast well, yes, Club the, was a podcast. The Breakfast Club is nominated for best multicultural podcast at the iHeart <laughs> Podcast Awards. Yeah, I didn't know mm. that, that they were a podcast. I did. I, I honestly didn't know. Well, you sleep because you're not part of the culture. That's true. Oh, okay. Well. Or or the multicultural podcast world. Okay, you're yeah. just not part of it. All right. 
Learn y'all, something new every day. Y'all salty. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, bro. What, what would you have worn at the, the red carpet? Oh, you know that hat was going to be... All of the bells and whistles was gonna be on that hat. <laughs> they would have saw Joe walking the red carpet from a mile away. Yeah, he'd have had the silk little thing on it like he had that his, one his time. His hat would have been his plus one for How sure. How does that hat deal with the wind? It's gotta be tough. That shit is windproof. I feel like that might ca- right that might it. catch a breeze yeah. and knock you Joe over. You see that t- that fabric? Sneak it, please. Wind. <laughs> that hat is made for the elements. That shit looked like a sail. I wasn't wasn't sure. My hat's not windproof. Oh, okay. It looked like it. It didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> what do y'all think they're doing? Wait, are we branded? We couldn't be on best branded podcast. I don't care about their fucking podcast. <laughs> Spotify, <laughs> Spotify, Spotify brands us. Well, um, what do y'all think the government is doing with all our mega millions money? Man, um, and how much do you think they really earn? A lot. Uh, you mean it's probably like, worth one, more than one point six at this point? Well, no, they, they busted down. You're not getting one point six. You're getting like no, yeah, a smooth eight. That's, that's a nice move. That's a, it's very what smooth. You, what you get and ain't what they got. So no. what do you think they got? Them taxes and fees. You think this, <laughs> You think all the 17 trillion people just couldn't magically come up with the right co- number combination? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's or, what you're, yeah, that's what it was. Five times? Yeah, you're right. Mm, that's, a good point. That's, a, mm. that's, that's a good point. I never thought about that. I, that shit that's is the definitely lottery, rigged. though. It's definitely rigged, for sure. For Absolutely. Sure. Of course it's rigged. Wait, y'all, lottery. Think, y'all think they're just trying to give us money? <laughs> it's rigged. No. Lottery is poor people. This is tax, for them. For sure. yeah. The lottery uh, is the government doing to the numbers game what they're doing to the marijuana game now, right? You're right. Exactly. So, yeah, of course I think this shit they're, is They're running rigged. numbers. Mm-hmm. They're running numbers. Hmm. You know, when my mom, my mom told me that she went out and she played the Mega Million shit, and then I just went off on a rant about... Uh, capitalism in America and I'm like alright they're stealing our money with the fucking mega millions they're stealing our money with Halloween they're stealing our money with Thanksgiving you're stealing our money with New Year's you're stealing my money with Easter like when are we gonna do some research on all this stuff and say you know what I'm cool well I've been I've been stopped <laughs> well then they get you for tax shit. evasion when you do research <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so as as you start full, researching wait, and then plan. taxes is coming right around again. I'm scared to death now after they yeah. got me. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Don't be yeah. scared, just file. Are you going to be some following? I just got invited to a Halloween party, but I'm not sure yet. Is it mandatory to be something? Yeah. It's one of those, like, you have to dress up events. Like, they take it real serious. Okay. The thing about it is I just don't, I don't know if I have enough time to figure out a dope costume at this point. Be, you, could, you could buy a really big hat. Be Barry Sanders. Yeah, put on a jersey. You good? No, I'm good. <laughs> and just go run around. <laughs> just run around just the club, break people's ankles, <laughs> and then leave, and then you can leave early. Just start running love, through the park. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> like, a sick ass costume. I, that's what I think. What, Rory, what you gonna be? I don't know yet. I was invited to a, a mandatory costume party as well. Last Yo, year, who do y'all know that it, that emails y'all these invites? I'm just going on. No, they, they call my phone. <laughs> they email me. Wow. You're just not trending, You Joe. niggas get emailed to fucking Halloween parties. Joe, you still parties. turn the lights off in the house? Act like you're not home? <laughs> <laughs> no, that don't work because these little badass kids come at 1 p.m. now. <laughs> we know they you just, They just sent that fucking uh, email out to like my whole building. Like, put your name down so the kids can run around and they'll know to knock on your door. Uh, hey, parents, make sure that you check their candy. I'm like, all right, so I'm going to put my name down on a list to already be labeled a pedophile trying to put something in the kids thing I think I'm gonna sit this one out guys <laughs> like you're not gonna make me put my name on a list to then be like well let's question him <laughs> fuck y'all so you're not gonna participate I might participate okay he's participating yeah, absolutely <laughs> and then the little entitled the, the little damn entitled kids like back in the day I used to just pop up to niggas door with like my brother mm-hmm. These niggas is coming with the squad to your door like <laughs> yeah. the whole fourth period class yeah no, I don't have that many Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, budget wasn't I didn't there. ball out in Family Dollar like that. I don't have that many <laughs> yeah. Snickers. You take this one little Snicker, get your little ass out, give one to Sally, and go ahead on now. Joe is the nigga that would be disgruntled on Halloween. Yeah. Of course. I don't have Angry that many Snickers. I'm disgruntled on every so holiday. Yo, that is hilarious. Well, y'all, did y'all ever fuck shit up in the neighborhood when you were kids? What you mean? Hell yeah. Throwing eggs What, what age did you stop doing that? Because I think I went 23? I was going to say, I think I went a little too far in age. <laughs> I think I think I stopped. The last time I stopped throwing eggs probably was 19. 
I stopped whenever the, <laughs> that blood initiation circulated around town. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight. No, we used to fuck, yo. We used to beat Damn. the shit out of niggas on Fordham Road, man. Like we Shot. used to yo, beat uh, Halloween shit. was a violent fucking night. Yeah, that yeah. shit used to be crazy, man. Yeah. Like at nineteen, I was like, yo, we can't be doing so Halloween. Really yeah, that's crazy. crazy. That Halloween was the violent holiday. That is no, crazy. Right. Now, no, it's that. like that's the, regular. It's a very violent holiday. Yeah, it's terrifying. That shit, that shit was crazy in the Bronx. Like niggas we just getting knocked out on on the concourse. Yeah, Halloween in the Bronx don't sound like a good celebration. Nah, idea. it wasn't. Freeze the eggs overnight. Go to the <laughs> roof. Oh, God. All I could kept thinking was like, <laughs> there, damn. There was a few. Why they have to do an initiation? I the egg, that? but whatever. That's the thing we used to do. Freeze one the one eggs Halloween when I roof. was like 14, I was on crutches. I, I broke my ankle, but I still wanted to go out because I was like peak 14 years old. So you could finally like really go out for a while. And a fight broke out like in the vicinity I was in that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> Got knocked over on my crutches. Just went in the fetal position with a broken ankle to wait for this shit to end. Woke up. No crutches. They stole the crutches? Somebody got beat up with them. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Nice. Crutches is one of the things you don't want to get beat up with. No, not at all. They're sturdy. But can you imagine not being really. can you imagine being in a scuffle and then just like stumbling upon a crutch, how happy you would be? <laughs> yeah, that's a weapon now. I'm good. Like, oh absolutely. Look at this gift. Yeah. I'm taking the crutch from the nigga that tries to hit me with a crutch. Let me yeah, just, let me just, one, let me just let me just make get myself. One swing with clear. a crutch. Like it's certain weapons you're gonna get one opportunity with. Like a nigga swing a crutch, how many times are you going to get a chance to really hit you with that crutch? That whole top rubber part of the crutch, you're going to swallow it. <laughs> when I grab that crutch and apply force the opposite direction, you are going to swallow apply that. Apply force. You're going you're gonna to swallow that fucking crutch. What was we just talking about? Halloween. Not violently. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm off of that. Yeah, that, listen. Oh, y'all don't have kids. None of y'all. No. Yeah, I wish we, you niggas would grow up. Like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all Joe, doing? Joe Mad niggas ain't got kids. Do That's something. Crazy. Care about something other than yourself for a change. That means you don't care about something other than yourself. Yes, that's exactly no, what it means. Does not. I know niggas with kids. Wait, so that don't anytime care about you pull out, is is just like you don't care about your child. It's just narcissism. I know niggas. <laughs> I know niggas with kids that don't care about their kids. Right. So that, that that theory goes out the window. That don't mean it doesn't care. go out the window because there's someone that exists that way more. There are a lot of people that exist. It's a That's lot true. of people in the, in the world. Yeah. So you can't say I don't and care that, about that, something that debunk, other than myself because I don't have kids. The theory. No, but you said I don't care about <laughs> myself so only myself because I don't have kids. No. Yeah. I have nieces and nephews that I care about. What's Lex going to be for Halloween? Lex. <laughs> You definitely put Lex in a sin. A is definitely making y'all making all wear like the same skin. costume. Absolutely, you're gonna be you're gonna to do be something. Yeah, you're, gonna, room. you're gonna be the chef. Lex is gonna be the pot of stew chicken. He's gonna be the chicken inside the pot. <laughs> and sin is gonna, <laughs> Lex is gonna be an oxtail. Yeah, like Listen, Lex is gonna be an oxtail. You already know yeah. how that go. I'm having nightmares of Elmo. Like sin, want him to be Elmo. She done bought mad different Elmo shits. So, are you going to be Big Bird? Which character do you be in that, in that picture? No, you'll be Bert or She Arnie. plays Elmo all day long on YouTube. Same episode. I have it memorized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when it goes off, Sin runs around singing in Elmo's voice. It's like petrifying. So, safe to say, I have Sesame Elmo's Street. voice stuck in my head. <laughs> so, Sesame Street is the theme for sure. No, it's going to be Elmo. Okay. My kid fucks with Elmo. You know, we fuck with Big But you got to dress up, though. Yeah, Alex. you have to be. Yeah. You're definitely an Oscar. You have to. I can see you being an definitely Oscar. Definitely Oscar. You're really you Oscar. You have to, Joe. You're a prime Oscar. All you are All y'all do is try to make me do things that I don't want to do. No, you. but you have a, a, a baby, so it's like you have I'm to not, play I'm that role. I'm not dressing up. Oh, come on. You, you're I'm definitely going to Not at up. one. You I don't even to. think he needs to have a party at one. He ain't even got friends. That's for the... The adults. Lex has that's more. about to be sin. All sin friends coming over. Hey, yeah, yeah. Joe, that's what I'm. That's a, what a one year old's birthday. Right there behind him. Right. That's what the one year old's birthday is. Let me know right. what time all sin friends get there. And you're friends. describing a good time. That's what you're describing. Just let me know what time sin friends pull up, though. I'll let you know. All right. I'll let you know. I'll let all of you know. Thank you. I'll see you guys there. Can we talk about something important? Thirty minutes in. Let's talk about. I, let let anything see. important happen? Let me see. Stuff well, important happen. Not really. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, Rory's transition. We'll talk about that. Let's change later. that title. <laughs> I don't know if I like the wording that you have that title. Oh, no, you're transitioning, Rory. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's 2018. We're here for you. Okay. Yeah, we support you no matter what, bro. I, fa I FaceTimed Rory this morning just to check on him, make sure like anything was good. He ain't even answered. I was like, damn, damn it's going damn, down over there. Baby. She moved the charger. First of all, <laughs> my phone stays on Do Not Disturb now. <laughs> uh, damn, kid. Yeah. You got to so text me from now on. 
Do I get a burnout? I mean, whole. should we get into this now? We're here. Listen, man. We're here. How is it? I, I'll put it this way. Sharing your space, your man cave. <laughs> I thought I was being the good man and carrying all the things, putting it in the U-Haul, driving the U-Haul, mm-hmm. double parking a U-Haul on a busy street, getting all the shit into the apartment, mm-hmm. dropping off the U-Haul. Mm-hmm. So she had furniture. Once I get in, nah, just oh. a bunch of clothes, but women shit. U-Haul for worth? The little van one. Oh, okay. <laughs> the little van one. Hey, no, that's that's different. That's the one Michael Paul always moving. Yeah. So one. <laughs> that's swag. Michael Paul pull up like, yo, I'm moving. Be gone ten minutes later. Like, Nigga, can you get that van back over here? Let me check what's going on. <laughs> so I think once I get everything in the living room, I'm cool. Like I'm, you know, girls don't want you touching their shit, right. and you can now. It's your problem now. You put all your shit away. So I go start watching TV. Like 30 minutes in, I go double check just to see everything's okay. I see all of my things taken out of my dresser on my bed. Hmm. And all of her shit out of the boxes and in my dresser. Mm. So now something that became her problem is now my problem. That's how it goes. Well, let me just jump in really quick and let you know. You're never supposed to go see if they need anything or if everything is okay while they might still need something. That's a good point. That's profound. You have to give it a, at least another 25 minutes. Yeah. You have to them, go when you know that they're good. So it's kind of like a child when you're trying to get them to like learn things on their own and yes. problem solve. Right. Yes. Yes. So that's one. Two, this is a common occurrence. Okay. Everything is happening normally over there. <laughs> okay. You're not supposed to have any room for any of your belongings. So yeah. tell me if I'm jumping the gun here. The apartment next door to me just became available. Well, there you go. Is it, would that be like too early? Be like, yo, I'll just, we'll be next door to each other. No. <laughs> Can she afford it? Well. <laughs> Does it have like the door? <laughs> Does it have the door like the that's, hotel rooms? That's, that's, a, that's a fee I'm willing to pay. <laughs> <laughs> if it has Listen, the door man. like the hotel rooms, you're good. No. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Just go ahead and move in next door. I mean, technically we live together. Yeah, technically. Under the same roof. Yeah. Same like, I building. sleep over there some nights. Yeah. Are there, is there, are, are there things that you think uh, Rory has to watch out for uh, during this transition? Uh, probably waking up in the morning and finding underwear soaking in the sink. That's happened to me in a bathroom or a kitchen. Maybe in the 80s, though. I don't know. Yeah. Well, no. No, no, no. She, she are is, st- she are is doing West it now? Indian. West Indians do that. Are they still doing that now, West Indians? Yeah. If they're really like first generation West Indian, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't yeah. know. Hand washing the drawers. What else is there? And then uh, one of her uncles told me that bad man no wash no gal underwear. So I was like, all right. I guess that's, <laughs> I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess that's my advice. <laughs> Yo, what do you say? Wait, wait. Bad man no wash no, girl underwear. Yeah. So I said, all right. What does that, that mean? Was his advice. Rory was scared when he said it. He thought he was in danger. Rory was, was scared said. before he said it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so I'm scared shit. now. <laughs> Damn, bad. You're right, nigga. Bad men don't yeah, wash. Yeah. Word. Do bad men don't wash. I no feel underwear. where you're coming from now. We don't wash no gal yeah. underwear. Yeah, we don't wash no gal <laughs> underwear. What about some of the things that maybe like men experience that you can't really share with your girl? Like when you live with your girl but don't want to see her? <laughs> yeah, you can never you could never let them know that you don't never, feel like Never, ever. That's not possible. Ever. Yeah. Where do you get the porn time? When she at work. <laughs> you said that quick. Is that still a thing <laughs> when y'all? Right. You see, wait, he said when she's at work, and you said that quick, and I was thinking, gee, when she go to the store, <laughs> <laughs> when she step foot out the house. So wait, that's you still... only fucked if she forgets something. Today yes. she forgot something. Porn I was like, whoa, thing. that's still a thing when you live with your girl. What? Not being able to watch porn? Yeah, like you still like watch porn and like masturbate when you live with your girl. Absolutely, one hundred percent, probably oh, more. She I don't. She, she can't. She doesn't touch me like I touch me. <laughs> Hi, right, Joe. Okay. What? All right, all right. Does she? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. No, you know. Fam, I don't know who touches who and how they touch you. I don't know any of that, my nigga. Like, but do your thing. You know what I mean? Have for wash your hands. You know what I mean? What else is there when a guy moves and a girl? Savon, I see you trying to skip this conversation. 
Parks is trying to skip it no, too. Well, well, I'm no, I, I really mad. get mad at you no, niggas for listen, skipping these talks. I'm, I'm, I'm the only drunk. one that on on a yeah. Thursday I'm fighting I'm with still, my girl yeah. about something I said I'm on the still podcast. To figure it out. Yeah, well, I'm, on, I'm, I'm 12 jump. hours in. I the, will say I was laughing at the group chat in the other room. She said, "What you laughing at?" Like I was like, damn. Right, damn, I can't even oh, laugh at the yeah, group no, chat. No, you got to tell your girl what you laughing at. Yo, what it's actually a hard thing to learn is how do you transition your shows? Like the shows that you watch and that she doesn't watch. Because she's into like nah, two TVs to fix that. Yes, no, no, it won't. Go. It won't, kind of. <laughs> what? Yeah, Sin fucked a lot of shows up that I loved. I was really into suits when I, when I got with her. Mm. And women don't wear suits. And she looked at the show <laughs> suits. Hillary the Clinton. show suits, Roy. Okay. <laughs> and she looked at suits and like, unless you're Hillary Clinton. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, go ahead, Joe. And Janelle Monet. And me. <laughs> and you. <laughs> yes. Joe Mel. <laughs> Joe Mel. Joe Mel. I heard, I heard, I heard Joe Mel. I heard laughter coming from over there. Now I forgot what the fuck I was about to say. What was we talking about? Uh, TV shows. shows and yeah, one shows. TV Oh, yeah. And- I, I love suits. And here she come before I beat, because that's important. Before I beat, son. I'm not really into this. Well, oh, neither am I, sis. <laughs> I ain't seen suits yet. The fucking chick went off and married the prince. Damn, Damn man, I got a lot it? to learn about that's the all prince. That's all Man, she blacklist. I stopped because she wasn't into it. Damn. So I was like, so Quantico. Like, Quantico kind of sucks after. Well, first. well, that's what I was telling myself. You didn't miss nothing. You didn't miss nothing. <laughs> they fell off anyway. That's true. Well, um, what, I, what I haven't really liked is women sometimes try to make things a little too logical. We were in Target and she, there was like some rack that you could hang clothes over to dry. I'm like, <laughs> what? no, what the fuck is the shower rod for? All right. Why do I need doors. that? <laughs> doors is just the answer to that. Doors. <laughs> like, why are women trying to doors. make things so logical and simple? Right. I don't like when women try to improve your life. <laughs> like, chill. I'm doing yeah, it. Like, it you don't like that? I had it all yeah. figured out. They don't like I, when they try to help you help yourself? I hate it. Okay. Like, you know what I noticed? Like, this is what I noticed that when I get dressed, and y'all shut up. <laughs> I'm almost at the edge of my but, seat. Uh, it's in the dark. First, I'm walking right into this joke. The whole fine. country has been waiting. <laughs> when, when, <laughs> How do you come yeah, on? Tell us. Tell us, tell us the process. The outfits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to know. It's like five in the morning. The whole it's country has not been waiting to hear how I get dressed. <laughs> yes, they yes, they are. Are. <laughs> but listen, this this why it's really funny. Because when I get dressed and I think I'd be looking all right, but I don't really look all right. I get super mad when she tell me I don't look all right. <laughs> but she's trying to help you. Yeah. I know. You don't so, want that help. You don't need that help though. I thought I looked all right. Okay. Mo, sometimes you want to hang your wet t-shirt over the shower rod. You don't want to buy a whole rack. It's a metaphor. Mm. Sometimes you want to wear those sweatpants. Mm. Not the ones that your girl says you should wear. And I'm missing all my sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing all my black t-shirts. I don't know no, where none of my favorite hoodies are. We won't even get into that. That's an annual conversation here, but it's cool. All well, my how, black tees are dresses. How though, did you so. guys transit? Like, I had one of my group chats and was like, yo, do y'all do PS3 or Xbox? I've never been a gamer because I was in Target. Like I'm trying to give up gracefully. Like oh, maybe gonna, maybe my new a thing. Gamer? Maybe I could be a gamer now. Get a Twitch. Yeah, like maybe that could be my thing. <laughs> I'm nah, glad you nah. <laughs> don't do it. Don't no. be, don't be a Twitcher. Like yeah. what if I'm on 2K though? What if it's like a cool video game? No, I actually no. got to get 2K. I need I'll to get. I haven't like had a video game since PS2. <clears throat> I should Damn. get a video game. Yeah, I haven't played video games since like Resident Sorry. Evil. Listen, man, just give up gracefully. No, I was, I was a Resident That's all I'm thinking about. How do I give up gracefully? What video game? That's one of my options. So essentially, what just it is trying to is find new hobbies. She's that trying I to organize. Oh, okay. She's trying to. The women she's, are trying to. She's organize. trying to organize your life. Yeah. I'm trying to find something where she thinks she's organizing it, but it's really me subtly in charge. Well, does that make sense? I follow Joe's Instagram. I follow you. you could get like a really good TV. That she watches fucking Game of Thrones and Harry Potter on. <laughs> Fair. Get an iPad. <laughs> that so she can be down. looking at makeup products while she's co- watching Harry Potter and Game of Thrones. <laughs> so you could just lay down like in a room with your earphones, your AirPods in, and just watch, you know, your own shows. What are you doing? <laughs> and listen, whatever bill you're gonna make her pay for, add the groceries too, mm. and buy new man new groceries. <laughs> <laughs> try new snacks and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See how the checks taste. Yeah, try new snacks. <laughs> <laughs> the checks. Yeah. No one ever th- wants to know how. That's my point. Taste, right. Nigga, checks taste like nothing. <laughs> Go pick up a few checkses. <laughs> <laughs> Go get shit. the pop tart you never tried. Yeah, get all that. Just shit Just start experimenting with shit if your girl's paying for the fucking groceries. Yeah, go get all that shit, man. Damn. We're gonna pray for you though, Rory. I lost I track of what Sin's bill is that she's supposed to pay. <laughs> but she's just getting mad whenever it's time to pay it. Yeah. Like, I wait till the cable is cut off. 
<laughs> like, well, that's, like that's kind of that's kind of the stance. Well, I'm that's what now. I'm saying. You wait till the cables cut off, and then you pay. You, no, then you leave to go go have fun, and then text your girl. <laughs> like, yo, and oh, say, by yo. The way. <laughs> <laughs> but she'd be so mad. She got a call files. <laughs> <laughs> that's where all my boyfriend joy comes from. Yeah. It's her she, frustration to call files and pay the bill. It's a thirty minute wait. Service. And then she tries to flip it with the whole "Let me get your card." Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's not no. That's, that's not the bill. deal. Your bill sits. Damn, so is that what you do? You you decide well, who pays we, what? Well, we bill? vaguely had that conversation in the U-Haul, which was probably not the oh, best time. No, it's not the best time. For that. Well, no, because I've and she's financially stable. It's not like she doesn't get money at all. Right. But I have my entire life been pretty good at living around my means. I'll always be able to pay my bills cuz I put myself in a situation of that. So I don't really Same. need her too. Right. Would I like her to? Right. Yeah, but let me just add on to that real quick. As men, we all just believe our chicks are financially stable. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't know. We don't know. We're not we don't know. Because sure. it's our job to pay for everything anyway. So <laughs> our girl, Sephora bills. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they got discounts, cards. <laughs> They're as financially stable as we are. <laughs> yeah, Yo, word. Low chicks scam more than us. Man, they got it. They on the low. Yeah, no, they scam way better than us. They lie better than us. They do all that shit better than us. They just show up looking good, and we be like, nah, she got it. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, her homegirl is at the register. Yeah, it's her her homegirl shoes. Yeah, you sitting there like, damn, my baby got those. No, your baby does not. (laughs) You never seen your baby with those on again. Those are going back tomorrow. One hundred (laughs) percent with you. (laughs) <laughs> it's the last time I'm gonna see these shoes and you, nigga. So enjoy it. Uh, what do y'all think about what do y'all? And, and this is the last time, last thing I'm gonna say about this topic. What do y'all think about the notion that uh, a woman moving in with you can keep you grounded and balanced and protect you from all the fuck shit that you would have done alone? I ain't do no fuck shit alone. Uh, all right, well, oh, since Parks is coming to sleep. <laughs> um, you got to get some crummies. Some crummies will do it. <laughs> get, you, get you some crummies and live life. Morgan going to hit me after the podcast like, yo. Yo, be honest, think you yo it was, is it real? <laughs> I'm not I know you didn't want to tell the rest of the room. <laughs> yeah, but tell but me. you know me. <laughs> I didn't know. Yo, you, Morgan, 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 you know I could get them off. <laughs> no, I cannot get get off the Morgan. crummies, Joe. Oh, yes, you could. <laughs> no. Yo, tell us about, I want to get back to Aurora's girl, but tell us about whatever speech you gave uh, whoever you was hustling for when they didn't trust you with the work. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here. You, know, you had a speech. What you talking about? Yo, like, I could do it. Yo, you've known me since I was a kid. <laughs> Yo, you've known it. me forever. Come on, Nigga Dad. Said I could do it. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yo, how long man. you been knowing me, man? Yeah. Yo, yeah Maul right, definitely yeah. was begging for the work. Nah, and well, was short. I, I, don't, I don't know. And shorted it. I don't know what like, you're yo, talking about right now. They came through. Threw me in a van. This, 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 <laughs> this, what, this is what I got for you. What Rory was saying about moving in, his, right. his girl now. <laughs> All right, back to Rory. Maul don't want to talk about when he got kidnapped. All right. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Maul never got kidnapped. You did get kidnapped. No, I have not. All right, I just want to be clear. The definition of kidnap is somebody moving you more than 10 feet from where you want to be. Joe, nobody has ever moved me All right, fine. more than 10 feet from where I, I wanted to be. All right, forget it then. <laughs> <laughs> now, back to Rory. <laughs> Morgan's so paranoid. Uh, As I'm he not should. Paranoid. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's only been, if it's true. I've never been kidnapped. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What happened if it don't apply? Let it fly. <laughs> no, I'll let it fly. <laughs> no, we know. <laughs> Back to what was we saying before our oh, ball? Uh, We're guarding you from the, the fuck shit. Yes. Uh, Do you feel like that's about the? Well, your girl been guarding you from fuck shit. That's a fact. Yeah. Try and still, best. you got a little bit of fuck shit in you. Oh no! I mean, come on. You've, <laughs> come met, you've on. met my father. <laughs> Stand up guy. <laughs> Stand up guy. I, I don't know where you went wrong. <laughs> no, I, I think it does. Because I think now you get the where, like, I can't be like, nah, I'm on my way home or I'm home or, you know, that lie doesn't really work as much. Mm, yeah. You need and anytime you say, yo, I'm on the way home and you're not on the way home is when the fuck shit is starting. Mm. Yeah. You need a new set of lies when you live with your girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need, like, off mic. Tell me, like, <laughs> well, I would, I wouldn't know because I'm just like super honest with mine still, right? Okay, like idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, bro. I'm the only nigga just home telling the truth. Same. See, that's that's an honorable thing. That's honorable. Don't Tell, feel bad about that. Telling the truth. Yeah, that's honorable. To your girl, yeah. Don't even don't. We ain't gonna even try to make it seem like that's not cool. That's cool. 
That's cool. <laughs> all, the all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the time. Unless you're surprising her with something, then you gotta lie. What if your girl think you pussy? Could you tell the truth? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just check the type of girl you dating, bro. Like, God damn. Like, you think I'm pussy because I'm telling you the truth? Oh, well, it is a good question now. What, 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 and this is my last question here. What, what incident made you feel like you picked the wrong girl? Like, what did she do? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? It's a what? very broad question. <laughs> now, man, when you, when you dating somebody who's talking to somebody, you might have been into them that moment that you got off of them. Uh, what is it that they did? I can did? tell you one. This girl was like, "Yo, I really want to take you to this restaurant." Oh, like, All okay. right, cool. Yeah, let's go, let's go to the restaurant. But then she didn't like even make a move towards the bill. Yeah, you got to <laughs> give me the fake reach. You got to at least fake. If you want to take me reach. to the restaurant, no, nah, I call out the fake reach now, though. Not me. Nah, I do. nah, let the fake reach ride. I play along. The fake like, reach is the alley oop. When I see them digging through there, I'm like, "What, what you doing?" You know damn well you ain't paying. Like, oh, uh, you being romantic, man. What you doing? No, it ain't, no you it's not doing, romantic. Girl? It's Let just like you got to call it out. Like, yo, you know you not trying to pay for this bill. Like, <laughs> stop it. Yo, know, niggas' strategies is interesting. When they do the fake, that's when I assertively... Re- no, 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 no. Let's go. I would let my mama raise me. I give <laughs> oh, you get into that, bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That and then I pay the $17. <laughs> 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 that, then I pull up to the next window. She had some wine and fries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Said, no, yeah, pull up right this way, sir, to the next window. <laughs> yeah, then we get out of there. <laughs> I, love the, I love the fake reach, though. It says a lot. Women are trash for the fake reach. Fuck out of here. No, I like it. I appreciate it. No, I'm judging a chick that don't fake reach. For real. Yeah, exactly. I, I want too. a fake reach. That was the end of my relationship. Especially. Fake reach. Wait, hold on. In all situations? Well, no. Back if you in the day. her out. Back in the day, I wanted the bitch that was going to run out on the bill with me. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what. Now it's like, all right. When was the last time you ran out in a cab? A cab. I didn't even know niggas still took cabs until Maul was telling a story about how he was in a cab. Of course, Maul's the last person in the cab. No, nah, we just nah, take New York, cabs. New York, New York, no, like, take cabs. Not, yeah. black, not that often. Not but black. In the city, Rory, if you're in the city people. and you're standing on the corner, you're <laughs> you, 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 cab. You, you, you have always had the luxury of taxis, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm talking about Maul, black people. No, now the cabs, they, they be... They they wait, first of all, I'm the train. I'm the only one in this whole room that still take the train. I, I don't know what the fuck too. y'all talking about. You're you the only one with hands. I still take the train. No, you don't. I know why. I, I don't know what you talk about. I have the luxury I of cabs. I do take the train. I stopped taking the train. I just got the luxury of taking cabs. I'm not taking the train. I'm better than y'all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thank you. Thank you for just being upfront about that. Thank you for letting us know that you're better than us, Joe. We appreciate Enjoy your it. Easy but but you know what's bill. funny? Rory is a liar. Why? How? Because he lies. He doesn't tell the truth. Took the train. <laughs> <laughs> so what is he lying about? Because Rory, in typical hipster fashion, tries to hold on to things that like. He don't really need to hold on to to protect his image, like the train. Mm-hmm. I don't believe Wait, Rory's what? on the train chilling. Nah, the train every, is still every better. day of Fam, my life. Man, Rory means. Ubers from Queens to Jersey. That's rich, t- entitled white people shit. That's he a, ain't train. He ain't on the an E. Uber. I, I do that maybe <clears throat> once a month when we're here. That's, an wealth. And that's because it's really late. It's wealth. Yeah. And because we got it's a couple wealth. dollars. It is wealth. It is wealth. I take Rory. the train every day. Rory. Every single day. You're wealthy, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you arguing with me? You have money. Just stop. Can the train is convenient. I'm not sitting in No, traffic. if you're in Manhattan, the train is 100%. Rory be uber, uber blacking. Wow. <laughs> what wow. Did, what did I never Uber hit Black? Uber Black. <laughs> what comes if you get an Uber Black? A black same, truck. A black truck. Well, Just a black truck. Well, are you lucky? <laughs> or because <laughs> if you're lucky, you get some fly shit, but if not, you get the black camry. <laughs> <laughs> the black camry. As opposed to the black camry. Yeah, and he gonna have some water in there. <laughs> yeah, so that's the difference. And a phone charger. Some tissues. That you want ah, to ask for. That means a lot though, the phone charger in there. That does mean a lot. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make you take the train with me one day. <laughs> that would be a funny thing. And Erickson's gonna come with us. We're yeah, gonna yeah. film it. We gotta film it. I'm gonna take it. you on my everyday route we, we on gotta, the train. We gotta film parks making collard greens. That's true. We gotta film it's all, green all season going now, on, too, a, on a date. <laughs> Why is that funny to you? Because you won't date. <laughs> Why do you think that uh, that's funny though? That me going on a date is just like must see TV. Because I don't think you know how to go on a date. <laughs> you got you got mall fucked up. I've got a lot of things fucked up. Okay. Ed Mall right there Still though. haven't seen you On a date though <laughs> Why would we you just see me On a date dating Two summers ago Huh We a just did of, speed dating A lot's changed since then At your house <laughs> Me, Mall, and Ice Went on speed dating That's not what I'm talking about Rory It was a date 
No. It was actually three of them in under seven minutes. <laughs> it's not quite what I'm, what I'm referring to. I'd like Rory to, is stupid. I'd like to see you on a date more, that's all. Okay, let's do it. No, I'm not dating you. No, no, not. <laughs> you guys should take the train. A uh, nigga want to date me. <laughs> what? Oh, you no. the fuck out of here, Pops. No, more. What's the progressive oh, podcast? Oh, Molly. <clears throat> Don't, you're my nigga. <laughs> Don't ever fucking call me Molly again in your life, nigga. Yo, why am I fuck? getting cursed at yo, from yo, every don't direction? Call, don't call me, just don't call me Molly. No, all right, forget do, it. Nigga. Forget it. Never all mind. Right, thank you. All right, so what else is there that our good our good brethren Rory McFarrell has to watch out for now that he lives with his significant other? That nigga was texting the group chat more than ever. <laughs> yeah, you were very and late, active late, in the group chat. like midnight. I was like, "Come on, Rory, I'm with my girl." You just What's kept that? saying, "What y'all doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all want to come through? No, yeah, no, nigga, we don't want to come through. That's the doing? other thing when you live with your girl. Boy, you be dying for your friends to come yeah, over. Come through, please. Nah, please. My, <laughs> please come through. <laughs> nah, Yo, I'm here. Yo, I pay for everything. I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about the him. snacks he got. Yo, listen, I got the new Doritos. Yo, I'm about to couch, order some wings. Nobody is coming over, Rory. I don't know what your girl eats, uh, but now's probably a good time to start writing your name on shit in the fridge. Let's well, see. she's already trying to move. I have this like one of one. This was before Kanye went crazy. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy shit from when I was at Def Jam. Mm. No one in the world has it but me. Mm. It oh, that's fits, at the Evolution of Music display? No, that's on the other side of it. Mm. Fits perfectly in this like vertical spot. She then wants to take it off the wall and go, a pantry would be great here. A pantry. Uh, a pantry. Oh, the pantry is coming. Yes, a pantry? Yeah, yes, a pantry. Rory, a pantry. Bring your dry goods. What did you think? A pantry wasn't happening? I have a pantry. No, but you're about to have another <laughs> pantry. One already exists. No, but it's double pantry now. See, but this is always a good fight, too, when you when you live with your girl. There's the in- interior decor clash. Mm. Yeah. Color schemes, yeah, yeah. like what? different rug textures. Yeah, she wanted she want to make it all girly. You want to put some nah. nigga shit in there. Every time I I remove the big glass jar of five hundred Oreos that Sin keeps putting directly in the middle of the console for people to <laughs> see as they walk in the house. Sometimes it just finds its way back there to that spot. It has legs. You didn't know that. I keep moving it. It has legs, though. She just keeps putting Oreos and Jolly Ranchers everywhere. <laughs> it's like, as decor. All right. In, in I'm like, sense, that's kinda, sense, that I'm like, fuck, are you really Willy Wonka? Defense, <laughs> I have eaten out of that, that candy jar mad times. Everybody <laughs> eats out of that bum-ass jar. Yeah, I just snatched two Oreos. So it's always here. Halloween at your house, yeah. basically. Ah, I'm gonna put that fucking jar outside. That's how you do it. Just gonna leave, just leave it out in the front. Yeah, yeah. Just take, take that one. jar, all the, all the Oreos, put that shit right outside the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sims decoration is wild, but whatever. Yeah, man. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. That was just the first. Well, we're gonna we're six gonna pray hours. for you. We're gonna pray for you and yeah. and Sam. Yeah, man. And your was, dresser. Uh, I hope you get some dresser space. This was really death of a dynasty. Man. Yeah. Hopefully, you have some room left for your clothes. I right, listen, man. I'm just gonna pick shit up off the ground. That's it. Fuck. <laughs> it's lit. That's how I got yeah. dressed today. Did she move? Did she change her church sock drawer? No, that yeah, that all ended up on the bed. She so, put she put God socks, damn, mm. out of mm. its actual place. Wow. Mm. Sin got the whole left wing of my house. Mm. So you're in a good position. <laughs> my closet is like a shoebox. How? Because you have a lot of space that you can just be like, Here, yeah. Go there. No, fun. I don't. She has taken all space. I keep saying. <laughs> Yeah, but you still have other rooms available. Right. I know that yeah, you because keep, my my apartment, I, while it's cool and nice, it's for one person. You, a, your house <laughs> is big enough that you could like have a little secret room in the attic. How come just... I keep saying one thing and y'all? <laughs> Sin is not allowing me to have any of the rooms that y'all keep naming. Okay. Uh, between Sin and Lex. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's it. That's how it goes, man. You it's gotta cool. deal with it. It's Damn, cool. not even like that weird room in the basement that no one ever go to. Oh yeah, the creepy room. Which room is that? It's like in between the sun room and the, the actual basement. Right. Uh, the creepy room. Yeah. Should I be in that room? <laughs> <laughs> you would be in that room. <laughs> All right. All right. See, let's see. What else is going on? Uh, we 40 minutes in. We ain't talked about shit because there ain't nothing going on. Let's see. One of them new Amory. Y'all heard it? Anybody heard new Amory? No? Nobody rushed to it? I saw, uh, I saw it's funny it. that you said that. As soon as I opened my phone, somebody just sent me Amory. I'm like. Well, first of all, you shouldn't be opening your phone while you're doing a podcast. That's number one. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, I know. I thought it would change. I saw we got uh, some really <laughs> negative reviews, so I didn't rush to it. Uh, I do plan on listening to it this week. Well, this is a real project, you guys. Not like when she put out the One Thing remix album. <laughs> Which was not one thing. 
It was like nine things <laughs> of the same thing. Yeah, it was the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this album just sounds funny. I know that I know that y'all niggas are not looking for the Amory deep dive. <laughs> no, I love Amory. <laughs> Me too. That's why she's I was, amazing. But I was disappointed I a little bit. Where's Rich in. Harris? Uh, uh, still trying to pay for that Beyonce suit. Didn't they get sued over that shit? Yo, Someone Rich- got sued with Amory and Beyonce, yeah. and I think it was him for giving the same beat <laughs> to people twice. I could you be mixing this up. That? Everybody got sued for that then. That shouldn't be a lawsuit. Let me tell you something, man. Have, have we seen, seen Rich Harris with A. Marie ever since uh, one thing? Well, if you got to pick one or the other. No, we haven't. We haven't, right? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Eh, whatever. Y'all don't care. Oh, don't we got to go back to that, uh, revisit that um, that Big and Jay shit we were talking about. It was definitely Big that took two months to do his verse, not Jay. Yeah, I had it. Yes, I had it backwards. Yeah, I had so it backwards. My point still stands. What was your point? Even more now, Jay had the better verse. We we got some backlash from that one. Uh, that's why we had to clean it up. Fuck they backlash. That's what. <laughs> like I feel like that one can go. I'm never mad at anyone that says either or. If you yeah, think Big is better, that's, a, that's, that's a fine. The fact that's that, a toss up record. but yeah, but the fact that Jay sent that record to Big and it took Big two months to. Well, that was, this verses. is the MP3 well, era. It don't matter. And you know how Big, long it takes to find a two-inch reel? It Big matter. was also a, a superstar. Nothing matters to, to more. Right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't this take was not months. the MP. He didn't have it in the email. He could just open up the phone and write to it. He had to go find the two studio months? with the right two-inch reel. Because and... B- Big has to go find the studio. Yeah. Jay had like one record out at that time. That too. What that mean? And Big was a superstar. Yeah, yeah I'm taking two Big months. And Jay knew yeah. each other personally. They met each so. other at that studio session. I yeah, re-listen to I, it. I don't even wrong. know what y'all are arguing about right now. <laughs> y'all, y'all started taking, with, with agreeing with some. Yeah, taking t- taking too much to write a verse. And you're saying that doesn't. Well, maybe ma- not write, but lay it. You're saying that doesn't matter to you. It's a different era. It doesn't matter to me. What I will say is this: I always thought that that was like a cheat code for like artists to kind of know how other artists record and shit. Because I always factored that into how I judged an artist. But to fans, that never mattered because fans never know. Mm. So I wonder if fans knew, would they factor that into how they grade or judge an artist? Hmm. You do. No. I do what? You factor it. I, no, I do factor it. Yeah. You'd be so like, I think, I think, it takes I, too long to write. So I, think, he's yeah. I, think, I mean, whatever I think, the final product is, that's what I judge. I, right. think, I think a lot of people would, though. No. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Like if well, I lay, no, no, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, yeah. Like if I lay a verse and I send it to you, and it takes you four months to lay the verse. What if you got shit going on? It what if your ma- girl just moved in and moved all your socks out of your that, bed? That, and- that, all of that is cool. But what I'm saying is if it takes you four months to lay that verse, and then like your verse is not even like dope. Oh, yeah. Like people going to be well, like. Well, are you writing it for four months? <laughs> no or are you, how long, are you taking four sitting, months and then writing it in 30 minutes? Whatever, whatever it is. Artists know. I think it's final. Some of the other artists that take a really, really long Absolutely. time to produce. Absolutely. Which is why they send them records months yeah, we, before they have to We're not talking about what y'all talking about. Niggas are busy. Yeah, niggas no. are busy. Everybody's busy. Right. I'm talking about the people that take a long time to produce whatever it is their skill set normally produces. Okay. Right. Fans don't care. I care. I don't particularly care. Yeah, I, don't I care. I think it's amazing that Pac did Hail Mary in 30 minutes, but it doesn't matter. It's still a great song, no matter how long he took to do it. But For wouldn't me, that have to factor, fa- be a factor in deciding who's better? No. Nah. The final product is the reason. And there's normally a time limit in sports. Mm-hmm. This is not sports. This is art, sir. Yeah, there's no shot clock in the studio. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, if you're sitting yeah, with a record I'm, I'm, for so yeah, long. Yeah, I'm off of that. Like, come on, man. And y'all keep only talking about if you if you sitting on a record. Like, if I send you something for you to do. Right. In the era y'all talking about, I'm talking about niggas being in the studio together. Oh, I yeah, done been in the studio together, and now I'm watching you. Yeah, that's I'm, totally I'm watching the nigga that's crazy ill have a really hard time being crazy ill, at least for the first seven hours. Sorry, judging you. That's uh, me. Yeah. I agree. Fam, it take you nine hours to be ill? You weren't exactly the fastest studio guy for what it's worth. Yes, the fuck I was. I don't know, man. The fastest? For the amount of bars that I laid? Oh, you got to be joking. I know. I I can't put other people on blast, but you have got to be joking. I'm one of the faster writers that I've seen. We used to go. But either either way. Think about it this way. Yeah, Yeah, because that don't matter. When the song is out, what are we judging? Right. (laughs) The music. What you sounded like. 
You're judging the finished product. You you did have yeah. to, sometimes you would be quick. Do you I take away from that. Dr. Dre between Chronic and Chronic 2001? You just you just introduce somebody that wouldn't even be in this conversation for me. I'm talking about I'm just talking about make, making music. For me, it's that, writing, that, making music. You know that changes the conversation to me. I'm talking about rapping. I'm talking about how long do you take to rap? How long do you take to be nice at rap? I'm not talking about Dre producing. I'm not talking about Kanye I'm talking put about a song a, together. A craft. I'm talking about rapping. Where that's the only that's the only aspect where the the time is important to me. I don't care about how long it takes you to make the song. Right. How long did yeah. it take you to be nice with words? Hmm. Period. Yeah, I agree. I'm Which on. is cool, but I'm so no, I'm, I'm, but I'm with the final put, product. Like, Supernatural That's what I'm judging. very high. Like he's a dope freestyle rapper, but are we gonna rank him higher than Andre? That takes three years to write a verse? No, no. I don't not. know that it takes Andre three years to write a verse. It doesn't take Andre three years to write a verse. Well, it, it takes him three. Like <laughs> well, he produces at that clip. Right. But Rory said he's just walking around New York, so it's a fact. You can write while you got the headphones in, walking around. Yeah. Notepad right there. No, but I I, I agree with Joe. I, I've seen dudes sit in the studio and I'll be like, yo, my nigga. We're beat on loop. It's just <laughs> eight hours. Niggas ain't laid so? a 16, right. so? eight, a four. I'm with Rory on this one. Nah, <laughs> Who gives fuck a fuck? That. You're an engineer. You're supposed to be. You no. want the nigga to just sit no, there and not say shit. No, I think Parks would, would <laughs> no, be like, all right, yo, hurry up, man. I got to go. I got yeah, shit right. To Parks is paid by the hour. Why would oh, yeah. he rush a nigga? <laughs> Never mind. Why would he rush a nigga <laughs> out of the studio? for two days. <laughs> yeah, like, Parks don't give a fuck. Sit there all night, fellas. Mm. Call me when you're ready to that lay. Sounds, that sounds really good until you're fucking sitting no, I know, there for I, eight hours. Fam, this, that's the reason why I don't go to studios. Right. Like Because I don't want to sit there for the whole creating of a fucking a record. Like, I hate that. Right. Let's talk about uh, the floor collapsing at Clemson when all the kids were jumping up and down to a Chief Keef song. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. I, <laughs> that was the Kappas, I think, Rory. Uh, I will say I've been at plenty of house parties where I thought the floor was going to collapse and didn't really give a fuck. Just nah, looked I, like, yo, this shit feel like it's going to break, huh? Yeah, yeah, but even when you're in certain clubs and stuff, like, and there's, like, levels and floor, like, you can kind of tell when it's like, all right, fam. <laughs> like, I've been in places like that where I'm like, this ain't, this building ain't sturdy enough for all these people to be shit, on the man. third floor jumping up and down like that. At our cap that, house, we would hire part. people to not, because you couldn't put too many people on the steps, so they'd fall through at a... Brownstone in Harlem. Mm-hmm. You have to put people at each end of the step. Be like, all right, two people can come up. Mm-hmm. All right, one person go down. Yeah. Like these places are old. Where college, that's why they give them to college students. That's true. Because they're old as fuck and about to break. That's true. Why are, if the place wasn't old as fuck and about to break, why are a bunch of kids jumping up and down on the floor? <laughs> Well, they partying. They're not yeah. really paying attention to the fact we're on the second floor. I'm, I want to talk about in the middle I'm, of a living room. I'm talking about the the way in which the kids party. Today. You act like we I, didn't grow up to jump and jump around. Are you questioning and, college students jumping up and down? Yeah, yes. college students yeah, have I been am. jumping was, up and down since forever. Since crisscross. I think if any, I think if anyone on earth has the right I to jump House up and down drunkenly, it's college students. I bet House of Pain broke a couple floors. Parks, yeah. When jump around came out. We jumped for the hook and maybe the first 15 seconds of uh, the first verse. You didn't jump through the whole song. When Criss Cross Jump came out, you jumped through the hook. Niggas wasn't jumping around the whole fucking song. Oh, get your Nigga. fucking car. What are these kids doing? Go where? to the gym. Nigga, Joe was a jump police. <laughs> it's right. Right. Just because no, you don't jump here. Just because you're cancer, don't man. Jump weak. Don't jump. Wait for the hook to jump. <laughs> don't jump during his eight. <laughs> Only... On the hook. <laughs> Joe, kids are going to jump. They're going to run. They're going to hit their heads. They're going to fall. That's what they do, man. Ma, I'm not being the jump police. You are the jump police. <laughs> I'm not the jump police. You said they're jumping through the hook, through the chorus, through the B hook. Then they're coming they're back the in pre-hook. on the bridge. I didn't say the B hook. <laughs> they're coming in the on the bridge. bridge and they're still jumping. Yeah, they're jumping through the bridge. <laughs> yes, man. That's what college students do. They don't jump. Fuck, yeah. yeah. They jump. Thank they you guys shit. for letting me know that kids jump. That's yeah. not really what I was questioning. Okay, what are you questioning? What I was asking was, why don't the kids know that if many of them jump up and down at the same time for Something's a long gonna, period yeah. of time, especially contingent upon how much they weigh, yeah, it's <laughs> probably going to gonna a lot come. Of fat kids at the party. No, but it no, was a, t- fam, in that clip. It was a let lot. Let me of tell you something, Parks. Yeah. I'm the nigga on the elevator who, while y'all walking in, everybody come on in. You're, you're I'm, calculating I'm, the weight. I'm, I'm looking at the weight. 
2,500 pounds. I'm two. <laughs> Should have started doing a little bit of math. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't trying to get stuck in the elevator with just anybody. Yeah, I think that stuff is important. So have why ever, them kids didn't know that they was about to go tumbling down? Have you ever got off the elevator because you thought the weight might be pushing the limit? Yes. I definitely did. Yeah? For sure. I was claustrophobic as a kid. Oh, okay. I've actually been trapped on an elevator with 40-ounce vans, and the fire department had to come. With 40-ounce vans or 40-ounce van? The, the guy that we read the tweets about. Oh, oh not, man. Not 40 shoes that... <laughs> that wait, they yeah, wanted. I, what, <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't know. with 40 ounces, 40 of, ounces of vans. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have 40 ounces that, of vans? I think that would have made the, the uh, required weight limit. Whenever it was that that final destination was out, shit, I got off a plane one time just because. <laughs> 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 Why that funny? Why you got off though? What happened? Premonitions. Premonitions. Well, what happened to something the plane? Was, something was shaking. Shit was delayed. It was, I seen something that I ain't normally, and it was a feeling. It was a feeling. I got off of there. No, nah, I ain't mad. I wasn't ain't mad But the, nothing happened to the plane. The plane landed safely. <laughs> Okay. And then I was nervous because then what if my psychic skills was like, You're like off a little bit that- and then plane I was getting on to save me was the one that was going to kill me. Mm. That would be some final destiny. I mean, you got to be on more of your That's So Raven shit. That's some like, Joe Budden shit for sure. <laughs> get off the plane that's going to be fine <laughs> because he thinks it's not going to be fine. Yeah. To then get on the plane that's not going to be fine. It is. That's true. It is. I just want to say we haven't talked about shit yet. But that's fine because right now, guess what time it is? Dun, 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 dun. Why is that always the like the? Dun, 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 why is that always the the, the, the music? Song? Okay, it's ad time, so, To get the listeners oh, excited. That was for the my ad. ad music. Oh, okay. There you go. Get them your excited ad yeah, bag so yeah. we can get more of these and recoup. Read it. Let's see. <laughs> this nigga woman. Let's see. My balls never had to recoup anything. You don't give a fuck. Shit. <laughs> I never had to recoup. Out your fucking mind. I do. Never mind. Read the. Um, oh. Read the ad, bro. Read had the, to fall back. Read the yeah. ad, bro. Hey. All right. He's okay. Let's get to what went down last night on Hustle in Brooklyn. That's right. This cast is doing the most. But let's start with Miss Azia. She got on the mic last week and impressed Santos and Darnell. Mm. She just might have what it takes to reach the next level. Whoa. Speaking of levels, Alicia gets sneaky with Ivy to get her new client, Baggy, a label meeting with Ivy's boss. I can't see that going well for Alicia. See whose boss moves when and who's just backfire on the hit BET reality series Hustle in Brooklyn. Each and every Tuesday at 10, 9 central, only on BET. Shouts to my guy Santos, man. That's my nigga. You the guy to come in with a shout out. That's my nigga. That's my nigga Santos. (laughs) All right, let's get some associates on that show. I'm I'm gonna tune in. Some associates. Yeah, I'll be tuned in as well. All right, let's get to you more warm in the forum. (laughs) It's the (laughs) stable stable. No, it's the forum (laughs) and it's warm in the forum. Yeah. Rondo, Chris Paul, you already seen all the clips. Give me some insider living room coach information. What's the NBA? What did team? Trevor Ariza say? <laughs> I didn't speak to anybody. But oh, I mean, then the, get the, the fuck out. The, Never mind. The, Parks, the, what you think about the, the, <laughs> the consensus around the league, you know, Chris Paul is one of those guys who, you know, a lot of players in the league feel a little way about. They don't really particularly care for him. They don't like that. The league doesn't like Chris Paul? Players in the league. No, the really? league definitely likes Chris Paul. The league Paul. loves well, right. Chris Paul. The league loves him, but <laughs> players, certain players really don't like him. Which, and which this was a little this was a little like him and Rondo have had a little, little gripe for some oh, years. Oh, this is now. old, old yeah, day? yeah. This is this is old tension. What what is the gripe? Coming to a roost. They just don't like each other. That's it. It's not no. I don't think it's nothing personal like that. They just just really don't care for each other like that. Hmm. But what Rondo okay. did was totally disrespectful. See, I didn't realize that he spit on him until the super zoom in. Yeah, close. no, that was. You don't think that that was an accidental? No, like, no. He no. Puckered, he, he no. puckered no. his lips out and, and spit. Like he did it in a way where we would have this conversation or we would question it. Right. He didn't blatantly make it noticeable, yeah, but like, yeah, no. The, There's nothing he, to question once you see the video that the rocket sent out. Yeah, <laughs> he, he cleaned that right up. Yeah. yeah, like he definitely spit in his face, and that's you know that's total disrespect. Yeah, at that point you got to fight. It, I mean, I'm I, surprised Chris didn't start with. The yeah, I would have. I would have. If I'm surprised Chris Paul didn't start with a punch. That's what I'm saying. Like, like cause he had all right to just Someone spits try to face, break Rondo's yeah, jaw at that point. I believe and I love on. Rondo. You know what I mean? I I was happy when the Lakers got him, but that was that was totally disrespectful. Chris didn't want them Rondo hands. Yeah, they didn't look like it. Definitely well, didn't look like he, it. He he countered. I mean he would hey he's a man. I would hope he would counter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like uh he caught with that left pretty nice though. Rondo. <laughs> yeah but it's just I when people were talking about the Lakers this year and all these plays, this is what I was afraid of. 
The Ron circus. Ron spitting on someone? No, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the circus. Like, it's all, it's just a circus. It's like a bunch of shit going on. And it's like, you know, what, what well, are we shit, doing? We haven't won a game yet. Before. Yeah, but we haven't won a game yet. Players are suspended already. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? Man? Sounds like it's lit. But. Word. <laughs> Fuck no, so everybody's at the game. Right. Nipsey almost got into the uh, Word. scrap. I'm saying it's, it's just too much. It's too much circus shit going yeah. on. Yeah. Nipsey definitely lifted his pants up real quick. Yeah. To see what was going on. Yeah. But Travis got a little buck on the side too. Yeah, but you know the 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 good thing is it's early, so they got time to clean it up. And yeah. Anytime you got to start using it, it's early line. <laughs> it three games and in. they can it clean it up. It's, early it's a long season. It is. <laughs> Seventy nine games left. I, like the I, I, know, I know more. I like the, and I like that they were scrapping, man. Fuck it. They weren't scrapping. It was one, two people in particular that yes. were scrapping. Rondo's uh, reach on his arm has to be like two hundred inches, right? Pause. Um, no, nah, he has long arms. He has a, a long wingspan. Why would Chris Put Paul want to engage with Rondo? It wasn't about... I didn't think Chris Paul thought it was going to go there because it started as just talking shit. But then once you spit in some... A nigga's say, never spit in my face. I, I, I will say that, though. That's you know, never happened That's not something that men are, could w- w- should even feel comfortable doing to another man. Because once you do that, you open yeah, the no gate for anymore. whatever happens. Yeah. For sure. And I don't even... You know what it is? Because I don't even spit on the ground cool. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, to be a... To spit on a person, like, it's that's, spit game. Yeah, that's, gotta that's, be that's, like... That's, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't spit well enough to have that have been effective. <laughs> you would miss. Poor spitter. Yeah, one hundred percent. Then that nigga just would have beat me up for missing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can't. <laughs> now he has. You clear meant eyes. to spit in my face. Yeah, nigga. I, I can't. I can't have the fight start this way. <laughs> All right. Here, take this thing. Anything else in sports while we're in this area? Uh, I don't care about anything in sports. You okay. don't care about the Giants? No, I, okay. I'm rooting against them every week. Go Redskins. What do you think about? How many years are you gonna do this? You think about about uh, how many more? He's a New York. I know how many years you've Nick, been New York Giant fan forever. It's gonna no, but I mean, how many years is he gonna keep hoping that they lose so they get a high draft pick? Have you ever rooted for them to win? Yeah, years ago. The he Giants for them to win. I don't understand recently. what I, I feel like every Knicks and Giants about. fan roots for them to lose until they're like in the Super Bowl or championship. No, that's, that's not, not how true. it goes, Nick. Because he was rooting for them to win when the season started. But then once the season started, you see that nothing's changed. They still ain't shit. So then about three games in, you say, you know what? Um, it was after game one. There's, there's not still losing. time left? Yeah, it's still time <laughs> left. Start losing. And let's go for another great pick. So I just want to know, how many more years do you think you'll be? I'm cool with just one. Okay. Who are you looking at for, for next year's draft? Uh, it's three quarterbacks I like. Okay. I think it's too early in the season for me to give it away. But it's, it's three of them that look pretty good. I don't know if I like all this. I'm hearing about the Giants trying to trade for Derek Carr either. You don't think Derek Carr this the season they're trying to do that? that? Yeah, that's what they said. Oh, yeah. Really? They got rid of Eli Apple. They traded him to the Saints for a fourth round pick. Yeah, they, they clean the house. Flowers for nothing. So you don't. You don't, so you they don't said, like. So Derek? they lost on that deal. You don't like <laughs> Derek Carr? <laughs> huh? You don't like Derek Carr? Uh, I think we need a quarterback. We need to draft a quarterback. That's what I think. Uh, that's fair. Uh, Derek Carr might be a viable backup. Okay, uh, but he, you're well, done. With- even if you draft a quarterback, Derek Carr would probably be a good guy to like start while you're grooming said quarterback. No, I want to start the, the quarterback the we draft. Yeah, <laughs> so you're off the Eli. Track. Yeah, I don't believe in that. All that yeah, Tyrod Taylor is gonna start. He's the no nigga. Yeah, bring in the guy that we need. <laughs> let him make all the mistakes. Let us lose. Let us get the other draft pick. Let him get good. Yeah, that's what I want to do. It's not a high percentage that that always works, though. right? <laughs> Is it that slow of a news week that we're just in the sports like this? Well, we, yeah. We, we, we like, have does this. anybody else care about the Giants besides me? You know I don't care. I, I don't care about anything NFL related. I was just asking. I don't like, even think Odell y'all, y'all, y'all keep me informed on what's going on in the NFL, so. Oh, okay. I was just asking. You don't keep me informed on anything. Uh, I keep you informed on Did you guys hear Cardi's new single? Briefly. Nah, Briefly. I didn't hear yet. I heard a little bit of it. That's a great fucking picture she got, though. I'll tell you that. Our work is great. Yeah. <laughs> Look what the game has come to. <laughs> that, that picture, I didn't even know it was Cardi. Shout out to Nikki. My, my I saw it floating around in and I was like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't Nick think it was a little early for a Cardi single. Early? Let's talk about it. Well, all her records still play at parties, more than one, and still go up. She's still on Billboard. I, I had, had no uh, ox cord on my U-Haul, so I drove from Queens to Jersey for two hours and heard 55 Cardi B songs on the radio. Yeah. 
I don't know if I'm I need really a single yet. I'm really shocked that y'all listen to the radio as much as y'all do. I'll be honest. I don't at all. I just didn't it's have just any option. It's just when you're in the car, the <laughs> Uber, was... in the grocery store, or something. You're going to hear the radio. I'm not shocked. I thought it was a little too early. It's I... actually ex- pretty expected, uh, if you ask me. Especially Who's she since... competing against? Herself? She don't need to compete. I didn't think she was competing She's against anybody. Trying to throw numbers on the Fucking board. Fucking music, of course. When you're that big of an artist, you have to compete. No. When you're that big of an artist, you're playing the numbers game and you have to generate income. Yeah, yeah the numbers game is a competition. Atlantic needs money. Well, all the labels need money, but Atlantic needs the big money from their big artists. They're not sitting around waiting for somebody else to come out. Plus, if Actually, you're... and if you're going by Atlantic's timeline, they was probably mad she got pregnant. <laughs> oh, no, I can totally yeah, I can see, see that. So, I can see that. But, so now that she is... Uh, not pregnant. I totally expected her to hit the studio hard, just like I expect somebody to do when they get out of jail. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm serious. Yeah, but that quickly. Plus, they, if they you're just on top of kid. the world, that's, what better time to release music? You're gonna get the most people listening, I, I especially think in it's, the streaming right. era where people are gonna just listen to it. Anyway. I'm just going off the last person that was on the charts outside of Drake. This consistently, Fetty Wap. I didn't need more Fetty Wap records. Well, he kept giving them to you, and they he shouldn't have kept giving them. To people <laughs> why not because he was gonna run out he was gonna run out he put out five yeah, but I don't think artists feel like they're gonna run out all right wait slow down some artists do okay some artists do some artists you know they they catch one and they hold on to it and they try to plan perfectly because of the fear of never having one again but Fetty Wap had five records go like top 10 in year one while that's great Who's keeping up that trajectory? People who do, people who have writers, and yeah. that's where and that's where this Cardi thing is a little different than everybody that Rory named to me because her recording process is different, her studio process is different. Atlantic is going to get a whole bunch of songs that they think is dope, and she's going to lay them. Right. <laughs> so when you which say quick, why, it's not quick well, to me. Which brings me to. My next point with this record, while the record's not bad, it's not one where I was like, oh, they had to release this. Well, when you have a million records that are going right now from your last album. My problem with judging that is, especially with an artist like Cardi, sometimes you got to wait and see what it does. That's also a fact. You know but, what I'm saying? Like, so, There's a lot of records of hers. That, the first listen, I was like, all right, whatever. And then they worked like a motherfucker. So. Yeah, I can't judge the record because I don't know how to judge Cardi records. Right. Like I don't know what'll work, what doesn't work. I'll wait for the for the young people to tell me how they feel about it. But for every reason you're naming is why I would come. If mm-hmm. all of my old joints are still spinning, if I still got old joints that are on Billboard, if I could record a whole bunch of joints, I just had a baby, my fucking man got an album coming out. Like there's a million reasons why I would want to drop yeah. like soon if I were her. I wouldn't wait till the summer. And this record that's, might that's exactly when I would wait with her. Oh, you are nah, crazy. To come with an album? Well, I'm not talking about now. I'm, I'm just talking about your presence being in the market. Put, putting some joints yeah, out. Which, see what which, it do. I don't need to put a single out in the fall. I mean, why not? She dropped in the spring. The label, the way the label is looking at it, if you have something to sell around Christmas, then you should sell it. Yeah. <laughs> why would you? Why would you have something to sell? Wait for the biggest uh, shopping holidays to pass: Black Friday, Wait, Christmas, so you're suggesting all that, that shit. They would put an album for Christmas. Possibly. Rory, you, you keep trying to make me no, I'm say asking, album. You don't buy a single <laughs> these days for Christmas. I, I, I know that Atlantic is not in a rush to drop albums. I say that here every year. Right. Every year I say they'll single you to death. And when they feel like it, so no, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, I don't think it, they're dropping an album. Yeah, and it's just a different time. Like it, There's no rules anymore. Okay, but also shit. where some artists started out as just single artists, like Migo started out that way. They didn't rush the album. Cardi has become an album artist. Nah, she solidified she herself not. as an album. Oh, yes, she did. She put out a great album. One of my favorite albums That's of the year, honestly. I disagree with what Rory's saying. I, I disagree, too. But I think... the what Wait, how did, she, how did she... She went from the she's singles... She's got an album full of singles. And, yeah. It was a great fucking... went number one. Right. She's an album artist now. That's you would want to put out an, another That's not true. album nah, on Cardi B. Wait, Her whole album is singles. Parks, um, let, let's see if Rory define what an album artist is. Someone that can create an album that goes number one and takes over every Billboard chart you could think of. It's not what an album artist yeah, is. I, yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's not what For an album... I think Kendrick for a label is an like, album artist. Where no, you, you guys, no, guys, you singles. guys are talking about like real pure shit. I understand that. No, no, I'm no. not saying she's now become that. She put out an album that did extremely well, better than any other person that's just doing singles or putting out albums. 
I'm putting another Cardi B album. Out. Rory, Rory intermingles arguments well. He does that well. Rory, the difference, well, what used to be the difference, because you're right, shit changes all the time now. But what used to be the difference between an album artist and a singles artist is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Cardi came up with a bunch of dope singles. Yes. That would make her a singles artist. Which we called her on here. Not and we said we didn't know if she could be an album artist. Just because she put, she now she did put out a great album. I still mm -hmm. think that album's great. Park, me and Parks just said it a few weeks ago. Yeah. But the album did well because it's a great album and because yeah. it's full of singles. I don't hear anybody running around saying that Cardi album is what we're... They're not going to her oh, for that's, an that's, album. That's a lie. An album act can put out an album without no a single. Singles, right. <laughs> and that's niggas are going to buy is. that album because... He makes an album. That's what a J. Grace Cole, is an J. album act. J. J. Cole, J. Cole no, is an album guys, act. I'm album saying from a acts. pop standpoint, we're talking about two different genres to me. You right can't. Now. <laughs> They're I don't two even, different genres. I don't even think you could become an album act off one album. I don't think you can. No, you that's can. Fair. You can. Yeah, yeah, that's like fair. that's why I'm sitting there listening to y'all. I can't believe we're talking about Cardi like this. Like honestly, why is that, that? Because I'm with Mo. Using I'm with these Mo. terms, uh, album artist. That's like wait, what? She had one album out, right? I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't. You, you could say that with Bodak Yellow. Like, she's just put out one single. You can't call her, like, legitimate yet. She put out a number one album that could be contested this year out of all the albums that came out this year in the conversation for best album of the I year. I have it as album of the year right now. Like, for me. If that doesn't say, Cardi's hey, we, we should put another Cardi yeah, B album probably. out, get the fuck out of here. Why? Man. Damn, why you just dismiss his shit like that? Cardi B has album of the year to you? It's one of the more enjoyable albums of the year. Possibly the most enjoyable. It's one of the albums I would still play multiple times. Yeah. I'm not rolling. Why you say that? I'm not rolling with that. Album of the year? No. She had Why? a good album, though. Who she had, had a really good album. album. A few people had And of course, album. this is all yeah. subjective, yeah. of course. Yeah. If you yeah. want to talk art, I'm talking about like in a pop mainstream and see Parks format. that's what I've been saying this whole time when you guys keep bringing up Royce J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar talking right. from a pop standpoint well, I'm not talking J. Cole, about J. Cole, not talking about Kendrick album like, pop. like they're real, both pop they're pop guys they're a different part of pop than Cardi B I don't, now you want to divide pop right. <laughs> <laughs> so pop they're both pop yeah. They're on two different spectrums of the consumer they're selling I get what, I get what Rory's saying <laughs> I, I, like, I right. like, come on guys All right. like, I'm with you so, well, well, of course, J. Cole has been established for, what, going on 10 years now? Right. He can, he does not need to do that. He has built a fan base that no matter what he drops, he He's, drops and puts together really good albums. I want to take him off that list because J. Cole is not a singles artist. Nor is Kendrick. At he has point. singles. Right. So That's what I'm saying. He, it's, two genre, it's two different genres. Of course, Royce doesn't need to put out a single. Royce is going to put out an amazing album. Let's take Royce out of this conversation, it. too, because it's not fair to him. Let's talk about people where the money okay. is being spent. Let's, let's <laughs> talk about... All right, let's compare... Is Migos a good comparison there? Migos no. has singles. You don't think Cardi and Migos are, are a good Migos, comparison nobody, as how their career started? Nobody in Migos, individually or as a collective, would con nobody would confuse them as an album artist. That's as an album group, as an album anything. Okay, I'm going to get to my point. Go ahead. The same way Cardi came out with just a bunch of singles, and we wasn't sure, like, do we need a Cardi B album? I just love the singles. Same thing with Migos and everything they did. They put I, out Culture, which everyone's like, wow, that's a fucking, I'm so shocked how great that album was. Culture 2 came right back because they knew they could sell an album. That's the same way they should do with Cardi B. You could say what you want about Culture 2, that's not what my point is. But Culture One did so fucking well from a group that we thought, we don't know if they can make a real album. And they did. And it sold. Cardi B should be doing the same. I mean, I understand what you're saying. But again, it's like with all this new shit, you know, writers, and it's, it's like, it's, it's not really difficult to do, in my opinion. Yeah. It's not. Fam, when I, when I just think of Atlantic's release schedule, mm -hmm. they don't even have the artists to play the game that Rory is saying. Like, Labels have to pay bills. <laughs> right, I agree. Plus, her album, Bodak came out in like the late summer, fall, right? And then we got more. Yeah. So Like three or four more we're singles. We're kind of on the same schedule. So if she was going to you know, potentially deliver in the spring, we're on schedule for that. If she has two or three singles. Mm. And this is the first one. We know I she's just don't think her run from the last album, you can let that cook for a little bit longer. That's all. Because now you're really giving room and not letting people wait to go, it's not like her old shit. You're not giving any breathing room for people to miss Cardi B. This could be a dud. This doesn't sound like the I like it like that record that's still playing. 
Rory. You're giving room for criticism and people to go, that shit is whack. Rory. That was like the no, no, signal. no, Rory. Yeah, you're wrong. It's oct- it's oct- that's the one that's running right now. It's by October. <laughs> it's October right now. So wherever Atlantic's plan, wherever they see this plan going, like if niggas shit on this record right now, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> oh no, I do I do think if this this could it, come and go, Atlantic it would not affect has, your career at all. Let me just add in label perspective. Their two premier acts are coming now, fourth quarter. Meek first. Mm-hmm. They're trying. They're, they're trying for fourth quarter. With Meek? Meek album is coming fourth quarter. Yeah, it is. Nobody told me that, but I'm telling y'all that. Meek's album is coming fourth quarter. It is. It is. They're trying. There's a, there's a Cardi record on there. On uh, Meeks? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. We saw that rumor. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we've seen this before. The Meek album is going to come. It's going to be big fucking dollars behind it. The Cardi record is going to come. They're going to work that with both of them. They're going to work the narrative. Come on, y'all. And by the time all of that's happening, Cardi going to have a smoker out. Not this, whatever, this money. Look like money, smell like... That's cool. That's great. Maybe Listen, so niggas know when something is cool. So I guess that's what I'm saying. You think they don't know that that record is cool? Here, yeah, it's right. cool. Okay, so knowing... You know that. That, yeah, no, I, I do agree there. Knowing that she has this Meek one coming and the energy around Meek's album and from what we've heard, how good it is and how great she is on features and takes over the song, I don't need to put this record out. I got Meek this for the fourth quarter to keep Cardi relevant. I'm not just putting this out for the fuck of it. I'm putting something out for the fuck of it if I got a smoker with me coming. Yeah. I'm waiting for the smoker with if me. If you know... Yeah. No. Come on. If, if you, you know you got the... Fourth quarter, if, because you could put that out soon. If we're putting Meek out in the fourth quarter, that record could come out very soon. It's coming soon and it's going to have money behind it. Yeah, so... Car- so that's what I'm saying. This record. By the time the money heats that record up... Yeah, it should be this, all over this, the place. Yeah, this plan is... Yeah, I don't see it. I, I see it. I see it working the way it's supposed to work. This record even sound like, "Hey y'all, we about to enact the plan." <laughs> yeah, like it don't sound like they watching the ch- streaming charts. I don't think it's far out of her. There's a bunch of Instagram captions. There's things women can quote. Like I, it's not a bad record. I just don't think they needed to put it out. That's all. We'll see. That shit might go. But Joe knows all this because we've come to the logical conclusion that Joe Budden is a plant in the industry. <laughs> yeah, he's a replant. A replant? I'm not a, I'm not a plant or a replant. <laughs> they replanted you. No, they didn't. They took yes, your they roots. Did. Yeah, they took your roots. They took you out the soil. They put you in a they pot. Put you in and a they put you in a styrofoam cup. House. They put you in a styrofoam. <laughs> put you in a styrofoam <laughs> cup. They put you in Puff's house. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty the, funny, window. Rory. <laughs> yeah, they had to get you. Had to get you right. I know y'all are joking right now. Nobody here seriously believes that, right? That you're a plant. Yeah, I think so. I can make a case. Make it. That's a long play. Make the case. You're a plant. Yeah, just see where your lawyer career went went awry. <laughs> you are a plant. Look at everything that's going on in your career right now. I need more painting of the picture. The slacks. The All right. Ankles. So so they took <laughs> the brims. They they knew you could talk because of the podcast. The what they did was they placed you with complex next mm. to DJ academics and turned the camera on. Wow. Hit. Absolutely. Plants have hits. What? what are you talking about? Oh, okay. Plants got have it, got mad it, got hits. It, I see where you're going. All right. So they took they took you like, yo, he'd be talking on the corner and shit on that podcast thing. Let's take him, put him with Complex next to the kid that gets the most fucking traction on the internet and put a bunch of money behind him. Put him with all these lights and all this shit around him. Wait, is that, that, what, wait, is that, wait, is that what is that what anyone thinks happened that Complex put a bunch no, of no, money behind him? No, Joe. <laughs> shut oh, up. All right. Put you with a bunch of boxing noises, like fake fighting academics. Put you around a bunch of guests, people you don't usually talk to. If I see another picture of Michael B. Jordan training for Creed Two, or <laughs> what's wrong with training for Creed Two? No, all right, see. Nah, you hating now? Right. That's not like hate. Right. That's some hate. Nah, that's some hate. Hey, hey, no, uh, get your hate. <laughs> Get your hate shit off. Yeah, Have some hate. Get your hate shit off. Have some hate. Yeah. Wait, am I hating? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay though. We talked about this last time. I time. am so sick of Michael B. Jordan. I, I am. What happened? I am. He didn't yeah, even do Joe nothing happened. to me. I know. Sitting like the picture or something, man? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Good. You saw it on the following page. Tell me that y'all are hype about Creed 2. Definitely not hype about I wasn't hyped Creed. about Creed 1. <laughs> I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not hyped. Definitely not hyped. I still have not Creed. seen Creed. One. Y'all don't see the, the, the pictures of this nigga on, 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 no, on the steroid shit. I saw the trailer. 
Michael B. Jordan is still Wallace to me from The Wire. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone and Ivan Drago look nuts. Michael B. Jordan trying to glow up on Mac Wilds. Fuck out of here. <laughs> what you mean, Owen Mac? What you mean, Owen Mac? I'm the sex symbol from The Wire, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't care if I was killed <laughs> off in episode seven. Yeah, yeah, you tied it back. That'd be fucked up, man. That's funny. Mac been hitting the gym crazy. Yeah, Mac trying Damn. to get muscles now, but it's not like chiseled this is, yet. This is Battle of the Baltimore Youth. Oh, yeah, man. Sure. Mac call. Nah, we got to call Mac now. <laughs> we got to call Mac. We should call Mac. We got to call Mac now. Yeah, ask him how he feel about Creed too. Nah, I'm calling him right now. <laughs> right this second. We got to ask him. We have to, we have Mac a box, I think. Why he ain't in Creed yet? Why they ain't calling him to do Creed? Nice. How you feel about the little kid that you shot on the wire? He killed Snoop. I don't know. Mac might win this one because he killed Snoop on the wire. Wallace didn't kill anybody. He just tipped he somebody off to, to get killed no, and then he was, was mad to about it. His business. Oh, I'm looking for Mac's number. I found it. Take the thing. Give me this thing. I'm a jig. We ain't got shit else to talk about. Might as well call some things. Come on. Yo. Hi, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. May I speak to Mac Wilds, please? Uh, this is he. Uh, hello, Joe Budden from the Joseph Budden Podcast. How are you, sir? I'm, you I'm, also from State of the Culture. That's a, hey, another great thing. Hey, talk about it now. Hey, whoa, we're not plugging that shit. We don't plug that, <laughs> don't plug that. Fuck that shit. Plug that shit hey, that's right. Phone. I am from State of the Culture as well. God damn it. Each and every Monday and yeah. Tuesday. We don't, we don't plug that over here. <laughs> it's not on, on Tuesday. So, it is. It is. Oh, I thought it was Friday. That's and, uh, linear. Did, oh, oh, Rory, don't, don't plug my show for me, Rory. <laughs> my bad. So, man. He, he, he tried to fuck the plug up. Yeah, man. man. Mac, so I'm sitting, here, I'm sitting here with Rory and Maul and Parks, and we start talking about... Uh, Michael B. Jordan with this Creed 2 movie that's coming. Have you heard about it? Yes, I definitely have. Well, are you are you are you excited to see it? Are you waiting for it? Um, I'm excited to see what oh, he does oh, with yeah. it. <laughs> Mac, Mac, it's okay. Oh, yes. It's okay, Mac. Hey, yes, Listen, Mac. We don't want to see that shit. It's a hateful platform. It's okay to get your hate shit off. We don't want to see no fucking Creed. <laughs> hey, so Mac, so I'm sitting, I'm sitting here saying, I said, yo, Michael B. Jordan tried to glow up on Mac when they was both on the wire and shit. True. And we was like, yeah, that's fucked up. So we going to call Mac. So we going to all hate Michael B. Jordan together. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah, fuck Creed, nigga. <laughs> yo, listen. Only listen, Creed we acknowledge listen, is Cologne, man. nigga. I, I I let that man do what he does, man. That's my nah, brother. Nah, no, no, no. Don't oh, let you that know man. Know what that is. Listen, 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 listen. But you know what it's like. You ever? Uh, I don't know. I'm. I, I know I'm a little younger than you guys, but like Pokemon, right? Pokemon. Whoa. When you play Pokemon, when you play as Ash Ketchum or whoever you decide to name this your character, training as, is good. <laughs> you have a rival, and the rival is Gary, and he always has the best fucking Pokemon, and he's always trying to beat you at every game. Mm. So that's Michael B. Jordan. Uh, like Eric Eric so, next, so, never, so next time you see that nigga What you're saying is Basically you gonna pop on that nigga I can't I, I, That's what like it's, it's the f You think he'll beat so you? It's like if I, if, I, if I pop on the nigga I, I'm the one that looks like a bitch well, Maul, Maul, Maul made mention of, of you being in the gym a lot more as of late, ever since the Creed commercial started. Yeah, man. We follow That's you and we're funny. subjected to these gym photos that you post. Are you only working out because Michael B. Jordan is working out? Uh, no. I actually started working out because of uh, my The bitches. Breakup. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the bitches. It's the bitches. <laughs> Wait, the breakup? Yeah, yeah the, the breakup will have you in the gym. I started working out. I, I, tried to get, I tried to get super right. Oh, okay. she told you your body was trash? <laughs> nah. I just was on some like, fuck it, I'm going to glow up with this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious that men think like that. Yo, niggas got to glow up on that bitch, right? got to glow up on this wow. bitch. That is hilarious. Wait, uh, all right, Mac. That's what, wait, I have one more question that you don't have to answer. Okay. Did you smoke the Terrence J, man? <laughs> I have. <laughs> is he cool? He is. He is. He is doing A-OK -okay in London right now. Shout out to the man, TJ, right now. Wait, doing we, don't yeah. the we, don't, we don't know if he's A-OK. -okay. Yeah. I don't know. Well, well, well I'm going to just shut up, man. I don't know if he's doing A-OK. -okay, All right. Shout out to our, our good brother, Terrence J. Yeah. We love you. I'm glad he's well. Yeah. All right, Mac. Thank you for the call in, sir. Mac, Yo, can we get an album or something soon? What the fuck? Oh, that's a fact. 
Hey Joe, I I I was gonna be Joe Budden and and like not drop any music anymore, but you know what? Since you asked, I got you. We yeah, talk. man. Fuck. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna leak the uh, Mac and Joe single that never came out. That yeah. record is hard. I, I have it on my laptop. That record was hard. That shit that is super hard. hard. Yeah. That record is hard. That record was hard. Yeah, I need yeah. some new music to not fuck to. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing no fucking. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna give you something to uh, I, I guess ho- hopefully push you in the direction of having uh, another shot. Yes. Thank you, Mac. I appreciate and it. And you just fresh off the breakup? This is Fuck perfect. Creed. <laughs> <laughs> peace, nigga. All right, peace. Uh, <laughs> pop on that nigga. Yo. I'm telling you, man. Knew, Max should knew, pop man. on that. I knew it, it is a little, you feel, it's a little yeah. spice, right? It's a, it's a little, little tension. Spice. Yeah, it was a little spice. Actor spice. Yeah, it's a little yeah. tension. Yeah, naturally, though. And Terrence J is in London? A-OK, he says. Yeah, you got you to gotta flee the country after that. Because I was trying to look for clues in Jasmine's Laker post Yeah, <laughs> when she was at the game. I was like, where the fuck Terrence at, man? <laughs> London? London. He working. Different time Spotting zone. The gym. I need an update on some of these scandalous stories that we just never get an update on. Spotting the gym, man. Uh, He's definitely in the gym right yeah, now you in London. To. You got to get right. Glow up. Y'all never hit the gym to try to glow up after a breakup? Absolutely. Of course. No. So it so it is. So it's true that men do try to like yeah. we can acknowledge it. Men try to glow up after a breakup, right? Glow up uh you 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 change things about yourself for sure. You do. Different haircut, start dressing different. But why? Yeah. Let's get into the psyche of why. You try to Is it really to show her what she's lost? <laughs> Are we that corny? Men are that corny. Yeah. And it helps you fuck corny. through the pain, like, because you'll get other women when you start to glow up. But also, you kind of fall off in a relationship. Trying to fuck so, through the pain. So, <laughs> so I don't know if it's really a glow up or you're getting back to your Charlie life. horse. Yeah. Because sometimes in a relationship, you're not crazy to get the haircut, might not go to the gym as Let much. Let yourself slip a little bit. Sure. Yeah. You get comfortable. Just yeah. try to get back to your, you know, what yeah. bag that demon woman before. Yeah. Mm. You get comfortable, let yourself go. You know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, you got to be like, nah, I got to get back on my shit. Fuck that. And God forbid, yeah, you, know God forbid what? you see her getting back on her shit. That's true. Yo, now that y'all say that, now that you say that, man, because I'm, I'm looking in the mirror noticing I ain't really looking the greatest. Mm-hmm. Putting on <laughs> so that I try to throw, right? no, actually, the, the chef That's left the and chef I lost right? 70 pounds. <laughs> 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 so I'm in the Are house. You sure it wasn't the crack edible I'm that the, made you lose all that weight? No, no, I ain't even start the crummies. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't start taking the crummies. But I'm in the house feeling down in the dumps. It's turn to sin while I'm in my birthday outfit. It's just me. I say, damn, man. I'm lose, lost so much weight since we got rid of the chef, man. My body's looking trash. Waiting for her to come in and, you know. Mm. Sure. You. Never came in. It didn't happen. Never came in. It was just like, all right, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Headed to scene. Your body's still trash. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. Hit the gym. Yeah, do a couple sit-ups, bro. Hit the gym. And you need time to go to the gym. You do. Yeah. Absolutely. And like commitment. Yeah, but you be up at like five in the morning. You can do it. Yeah. yeah you he'd be up, up at five time. with the baby, though. It's not like he can just be up to be up. No, I'd be up at five Gym's trying to hide like from the baby. Lex is mad cool. He can chill while he does his little sit-ups. I'd be up at 5 trying to hide from the whole family till here comes Sin texting at 6 a.m. Hey, what you doing? Sit up. Hiding. That's a, cr- <laughs> That's a crazy <laughs> no. text at 6 hey. a.m. in your own Yeah, home. you know what, what I'm doing. doing? I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm out the bed, right? I'm hiding from you. <laughs> yeah, stop texting me. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we might as well get all these phone calls out of the way. It's one more nigga I want to call, but not yet, actually. Not yet. Hold up. This is a story that will go down in the love and hip-hop history books. But what is the truth? What is a lie? All right, round of applause for Emily B. and Fabulous. Breaking new. Fabulous Mary's longtime girlfriend, Emily B., in a private ceremony. That's right, Fab. That's right. Get ready for the case. (laughs) Gotta fucking tie up the loose ends, buddy. Congrats. Don't let them cross examine your wife. Never let your wife take the stand, man. That's right. He's doing it right. I knew he would. Congrats, congrats to, the, world, to the two yeah, of them. All that secret wedding shit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what? No, not when there's a case. <laughs> no. still, still a private private ceremony. No, 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 private ceremony. Yeah, that, that's, but but bitch, bitch, bitch y'all gonna know we married. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Damn, you ain't get an invite. No, that's crazy. It's, it's a case. 
<laughs> case. <laughs> it's like the real one. Uh, no, it's the real one. <laughs> no, no, it's the real one. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, congrats to Emily and Fab. I'm joking, but congrats, of course. Um, damn, I ain't get an invite to the real shit. Nah, no. but damn, Fab is the one rapper I thought would invite me. See, that's how you still find out when you pass thirty. Days. Chance would invite invite niggas just because he would have the mass invite to everyone. Everyone's coming. <laughs> Everyone, come. You and your friends. <laughs> RSVP link here. Yeah, you know. You know and I'm donating one million dollars to you if you show up. Like, shut up, Chance. Uh, enough. Like, how many millions can you donate? <laughs> now, Wale, Wale took to Twitter. Is not inviting us to his wedding. No, Wale would invite me to his wedding. Okay, yeah, right. After today's. Oh Twitter shit! Exchange. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. Turn this up. Fam, why did nobody tell me that Wale and Solange was a thing? Because you're not in the know. I'm surprised you didn't know that. I didn't know. This was like Erickson. This you was knew like that. 2010. Savon, you knew that. Who? What? Who knew that? Like that was common knowledge. It was. It was. How like it was, was that common, common knowledge? knowledge? Wale and Solange. Well, I think because they were an item. I don't think Solange was as big as she is now. So it was yeah. kind of like people didn't really, you know. Oh, in she on glowed up on that nigga. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh, man. Yo, I had no idea that they were a thing. In all of these years, everybody wondering why Wale is crazy. Okay. You can't have no girl that you love leave you and then glow up. Allegedly. And then marry yeah. some ill nigga and then be part of the holy grail of hip hop families. And oh, Wale. Oh, poor Wale. Yeah. Wally. Yeah, you gotta add the, the E when it's sad times for a nigga. Poor Will. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yo, this is bad because Sol- I've never heard Solange. Solange ain't never even, she's never even said a word to start with W. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she don't ask why, who, mm-hmm. where, what. Nope. Not into marine life. Yeah, yeah, no, no, nope. not at all. Oh, Wale, this is craziness. I feel like I just shouldn't know. Damn, why did they break up? Who now that I don't know. Well, we gotta guess. <laughs> um, if Wale I had the, to guess, we know that she. All right, we know she left him. For sure. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wale, Big facts. Wale wasn't leaving her. Big facts. Damn, oh, that, was, that was the launch where the shoot, Lotus Flower whoa, whoa, whoa. Bomb. Let me shoot my man Wiley some bail here. Uh, First of all, Wiley, that was like right at the beginning of his career when he had like the pop singles. and oh, Wiley had a lot on. of hits, man. He might have not been ready. He was like, nah, I got all these hoes over here. Sorry, Solange. Nigga wanted to talk to Solange real quick. Nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's not available to talk. Oh, that's when they just got fly. Yo, these rapper niggas, man, they will make a whole love song after the first date. Yeah. Like after the first week. You do that. That's yeah, swag. You yeah, that, you do that sure. too, Joe. But you yours isn't the, really a love you're song. You're the king of the love song after like two weeks. That's true. You know, you came into my life when I didn't really <laughs> understand what was happening. <laughs> it was a Wednesday, nigga. It was, <laughs> it was a regular fucking weekday. Nigga. I didn't even know what I was going to have for lunch that yeah, day. Yeah, like... And then you showed up. All yo. right, everyone. Only God... Oh, this is God's doing. Nigga had Miguel come in for Salah. Oh, man, man. <laughs> well. 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 Well out there tripping. <laughs> Joe be blaming a lot of bullshit on God. <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh, wait, no. What's the other one? What, what's, what's the other one? The other Solange Wale song. To join with Usher? Oh, no. That was like 10 years after. Oh, yeah. Bad. Oh, no. Oh, you're definitely trying to get us flagged. Hey. <coughs> Fear use clause. Fear use clause. <laughs> Just say that. In your Playing room. 30 seconds of this real quick. <laughs> Nigga, we're trying to take Solange to a new height. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> No, relax. I ain't no connoisseur, but I'm kind of sure. Nah, you can't do that. Kind of sure she's leaving, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and never looks she, back. She's gone. She can't even get a nigga a feature. Nah. Oh my god. I hate when couples don't have a collab record. Like, where's mm. their we got something in common? Mm. You knew they had Whoa. stuff in common. Mm. You think so? Yeah. I have, to know, why, I have to know why they broke yeah. up. I know I'm being messy. I have to know who who picked the wrong flower that day. <laughs> 
Because you know they was out going, doing weird, healthy, like organic shit. Vegan shit for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, man. For sure. How Wale fuck up a vegan relationship? <laughs> Came in and he ain't dated a soul since. He waiting. Wally, uh, he thinks she's still coming back. Uh, he still thinks she's coming back. Oh, man. All right, so listen. And Wally definitely had a Caesar, and then they broke up. And then grew he his grew hair. His hair cut his hair yet. Wow. Oh, he was trying to have the nappy hair swag for Solange. Wow. Damn, she let We got to get Whale on the phone. Wally let that. Well, he had some choice words about us today on Twitter. Well, no, he was shitting on some writer on Twitter. Which I was with him on that one. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I'm with him on that. Any writer that has to Google Wale is get out of here. Or Bye. anyone or, that he listed. Yeah, <laughs> that's true too. Yeah, but you know, and I'll speak to that point. There are a lot of people that write on our culture that really have no idea about what the culture consists of, and not I, well, just don't not be just so write, but people involved. And I don't even think it's that as much as they just want to make shit click worthy. Jokey. Yeah, like yeah. I think they do that on purpose. Some of it is on purpose, and some of it is people really just don't know what the fuck is going on. I think a lot of people just want to say some cringeworthy shit just to get people to react but like some we're shit, reacting right now. All right, if be intelligent with your hot takes a little bit, or with your wit. Be smart with, I agree. Your, with your jokes. I'm not saying that they're right. I'm just saying that that's why they do don't it. Don't tell I mean. me to Google those people that have changed how hip-hop moves these days. <laughs> right. Wale said that we didn't take, uh, we didn't do a interview with him because we did Chance, and... We didn't know that he was scheduled that day. That's what he said. Well, that's definitely not what happened. I didn't get that. And said the excuse was we didn't know he was coming. Well, he got that from me. Okay. All right. So there's some truth here. Yeah. No, the best lies have a little bit of truth. Okay. There's a little bit of truth in there. Um, Wale. Wale. Wale was setting up to come to the Joe Budden podcast at least three different times. And we were trying to make that happen. But for whatever reason, it did not happen those three times. To me, that didn't mean that we weren't going to do it. It just mean that we didn't do it those three times. From there, Wale went on to do every set of press in the universe. That's true. Mm-hmm. And when he did that, I thought to myself, eh, takes a little bit of the luster off of Mm -hmm. us doing it, but we will do it. We'll just wait a little bit. Because we're not the press run podcast. Yeah, I'm not taking nobody on a press run. I don't really want to take anybody, period. Uh, And that's that. But Wale, of course, we want to talk to We want to hear from him. Uh, I forgot where I was in my story. Oh, Uh, so I thought we would wait a little while after he did all of this press. He had a project coming out. And that was the end of that. And then he called me um, the Friday before we had... Or it was the it was a Friday before we had chance, mm-hmm. and he said, "Yo, my people are telling me that that I'm I'm with you tomorrow." And I'm like, "Um, I never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about you being with me tomorrow. We got chance tomorrow, and that was the end of that. I told him to call his people and let's just figure it out. And that was the end. But why would Wale think that we didn't have him because we were having chance? Because it sounds better. It's, it makes for a better story. It makes for a better reason. It makes for, it makes us look like you know, oh, we shitted on Wale for the bigger name artist. Wait, so are you accusing Wale of what he's accusing the writer of that publication? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, part. me too. Being misinformed. Wale know we fuck with him, man. Like Wale, right. could, like come on, man. At a, any publication, <laughs> we're the last people yeah, that you like, should I shit on as far as supporting your music. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we not playing that game. Like Wale know better than that. Let's get Whale on the phone. He not picking shit up. <laughs> His assistant gonna pick up. Yes. Yo. Hi, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden yeah, podcast. Are, May I, speak? I know who you are, nigga. I know who May you I, are, nigga. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I being recorded? Yes. <laughs> Cut that shit off, man. That's Nah, fuck that, man. Y'all making me look stupid, man. Me? Yeah, you, nigga. Why me? Tell yeah, me. Yeah, I text you. I text you. You only hit me back when there's cameras and shit on there. You one of them now? Wale, you text me while you were in the middle of cursing out the journalist. <laughs> you don't think that journalist was on the phone or, or texting all his little writer friends? and you, or That's why all them fucking niggas was like, oh, this, this article is so fire. Like, everybody was showing their colors, man. Wale, nobody thought the article was fire. <laughs> We actually just shitted on it. Nobody, nobody thought that was fire. You have to get out of your head. Jose, Jose, let me tell you something real quick. (laughs) Jose. I feel like, I feel like 
again, we talk a lot on some like on some homie shit. You know it. You know it. Now, that's why that I don't. Word. That's why I don't like I'm you coming at. Homie loose. I don't like you coming at me like this, and you and me and no, you kicking, nigga. I, when I it ain't no cameras like around. Not my man for real. No, I know. If I can't come at you like a real nigga. Of I can't, course. Then, you know, then we not friends. That is true. All right, so let me let me come at you. I gotta come at you. Give it to me. I feel like you know the narrative because you know what it's like when uh, when you putting out, you know, what I'm saying real shit, and niggas be trying to play you for whatever the fuck reason. And it's perpetuated, bro. You know what Wale, that's like. let me let me so stop. Look, let me look, stop. Wait, nigga, no, no, nigga, I ain't, I'm not done talking. It's your podcast. You recorded me <laughs> unbeknownst, unbeknownst, unbeknownst to myself. It was announced. But go for ahead. The record, for the record, I'm in I'm in the studio with Eric Bellinger right now, and our, our record just went gold. By the way, but anyways, I, I just wanted to throw that in there since I'm being recorded. And we about to make another one. <laughs> yeah, you sound like Kanye. Yeah, but no, yeah, nah, for real, nah. But no, I just feel like all these writer people and all these. I'm not gonna say they publications, but they know who they are. They be perpetuating this whole, this whole perception that I'm not success. All my albums got gold and platinum singles, all of them, except for the first one. Wale, but why do you feel? Why, I guess this is my question to you. I'm disrespected. The audacity, the gall, the the balls of this nigga to talk to, to talk on my name like I'm not the, the, the audacity. That's why I'm mad. You and but we you are you not disrespected. But I'm not with him. I'm not with him. Number one. First of all, I'm not. I'm not never with him while he mad at this. You know how many years I went through this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm yeah. the king of this shit that he going through. They still go. They still. Put yeah. You through. So you still the king no more. Feel, that shit. Come on, Wale. I go through a war. You, I go through you, a more. Never. Never. But I be quiet about my shit, man. A lot of shit I be quiet about. Well. I don't, I don't, I don't think that I should have hit you and back. And the first time I hear from you is when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're in character. Oh wait, oh man, yo, me and you are gonna fight. Am I in character on my that podcast? Hurt? Put the, put the, put the gloves on. I'm, no, man, you I'm, can't. I'm, no, you my can't. Hands, <laughs> my hands never stop working. Wale, I will knock you, you and every dread to the ground. <laughs> no, it's every no way. last it's one. No way, Qu- nigga. It w- quickly. I never smoked jacks in my life. You used to smoke jacks. So you already got four <laughs> rounds that you can't beat me in. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I'm not going a four-rounder with nobody. <laughs> nigga, nigga, I would tag I would tag you so much, bro. I would, no, no, like, this is not even me. No hyperbole or metaphors and that shit. Wale. I would beat you up, bro. But listen, no. before but you do that. We're not going to go there. That's not, we can talk about that on listen, the Listen, I have a question that you don't have to answer. Okay. I And I may have been late to this party because the, the whole huh? room I'm in seemed to have known about this but me. I read something that Lotus Flower Bomb was about. If you ask me about a female, I'm not going to answer no questions. I have read something that Lotus Flower Bomb was about a fragrance. It was about a fragrance. <laughs> it's about whatever you think it's about. My nigga, like, you rap, nigga. You should be asking me what Lotus Flower about. <laughs> Yo, when you coming back to New York, I'm done talking to you, man. Nigga, we had this conversation before, and then I didn't make it on the show. It don't edit this part out either. Voile, you're a press whore. That's I why no you didn't make that. That's, that's I'm a why, motherfucker do my that, job, nigga. I do my job like you do your job. Like you be wearing the motherfucker oversized ponchos and shit. With your, like, <laughs> nigga, that's, that's, I do my job, nigga. I show up and do my job. But you, Just like you do. Oh, so so you're saying it's a rapper's job to, to slut himself out over press? How much press I do in New York? You you like every other how artist when I you... Do, how much press I do in New York when I was there, Joseph? You can't, you can't talk and listen at the same time. <laughs> When you like them other niggas, when y'all come to New York, y'all come here for the, y'all book the two days, y'all don't smashing me, a whole let me bunch of New York press, don't let me put, and then don't y'all let leave. Me send, don't let me post this, our text message on fucking Shade Room, nigga. Don't let me do it. Because I specifically <laughs> said, the label Not said Shade that, that we, we supposed to do your show. He's like, oh no, such and such is here today. And I'm like, oh, all right, bet. Your don't label do is talking to a ghost. When you call me, I'm going to give it to you straight. We just had chance Some, that day. Somebody named Ian, they talked to, and I heard he's he, 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 he calls a couple of shots. Maybe Ian, not all of them. I call the he shots. Call, Ian don't call okay. shit. All right, well, all right. So you probably you simultaneously apologizing to Ian on via text right now. So <laughs> I'll be in New York in a couple of days, bro. Can you tell we'll Eric? Get can you we'll tell, get it in. Can you and tell I'll, Eric? And I'll show you all the people that are asking me to do podcasts. So we can laugh, because I'll never be able to be as good as you are. <laughs> wait. wait they, like are, are, they like articulate problematic niggas with strong opinions. And that's me and you. Are you going to are you going to the podcast awards? Um, if you need me to be there for nigga, your backup. I'm never going to them podcasts. I'll be here you I'll be here you have a couple problems, but 
Mm. If you need me there for backup, I'm there. Just be like, yo, please, like, Wale. let my man get his let my man get his awards, take care of his family, and peace. Wale, you from D.C., which is close to Baltimore, so I don't need to tell you if you ever hearing that Joe Budden is having problems. Joe Budden is great. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I know, the, I know the old it, Joe. Yeah, I, never, I know the double jersey. I know double jersey Joe. Yeah, Triple jersey. Oh, my, Football right. jersey, basketball jersey, uh, uh, and new jersey. All right, all right well, I, I'm getting off of the phone. Tell Eric Bellinger I said hi, Wale. Hey, we hey, love hey, you. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, easy. What's up? Tell, uh, Joe, what's up? Joe, man, my nigga, my nigga. What's up? Everybody, rock all y'all. What's up? Eric, we love up, you. Man? We what's can't up, wait me? to hear new music from you. Wale used up all of our talk time. Eric gone now. I'm back. <laughs> Eric gone now. We about, to, we about to come into America and be writing raps and songs. Yo, have a Joe, blast, nigga. nigga but, I love you. Hey, you, hey they going to call you Triple Jersey after this one, man. New Jersey. Redskins jersey and a uh, Ravens jersey. Go or whatever the go. Rockets and uh, Rockets and Jets or Nets or some shit. <laughs> I, I, I got it. Thank Triple you. Jersey Joe. Thank you, Wale. I you, Goodbye. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> On a scale of one to Wale, <laughs> how drunk was that nigga just now? <laughs> he was having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with Wale, man. Get drunk and have a blast. That nigga ain't want to talk about no girls, boy. <laughs> <laughs> It's like smart. Me. I don't want to talk about none of the girls I might have wrote a song about. He's smart. <laughs> you I mean, talked you, about him enough. Yeah, you named them. You gave him 72 <laughs> bars. So you don't want to talk about none of your songs. You didn't give him a cool metaphor like Lotus <laughs> Flower Bomb. That's true. You say, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this is what's happening between us. <laughs> Here's your full government name. Right. Yeah, yeah, 100 He changed the names one time. I forgot what song that was. Yeah, my first baby mom took me to court. <laughs> Killed that whole that was a artistic wild, expression. That was a wild court case. <laughs> so on bar, it's 16, my song. <laughs> <laughs> I can say what I want in my song. No, no, no. you can't. Uh, no. Yeah, I learned a good lesson. In your twenties, you got to learn all all your valuable lessons in your twenties, man. That's true. It shapes how you're going to be as a in your thirties. Rory, you got, you're not thirty yet, right? Twenty eight. Oh, okay. Oh, I think Rory's going to be pretty cool in his 30s. I like who he's settling down into as a 28, Rory 29 reminds me of at 28, yeah. Rory reminds you of you at 28? Yeah, yeah. Similar, uh, I was a, a delinquent like he is. You know, but a, a professional... <laughs> I, I have uh, matured a For lot. sure, for sure. Still a delinquent. Yeah, you're still a delinquent. You guys should have met 19-year-old Rory then. Well, he should have met me. Or 16-year-old Rory. 20? 20. What, awesome. what age did y'all shed that? The delinquency. 28-ish, yeah. Like, like what 20s. age did you catch yourself, like, start to mature or start to realize you were a shithead back in the day? or like Late 20s, I would say. Around that time. Yeah, 27, 27 28, 26, 28. somewhere in there. I think I was still a major shithead. Well then. into your 30s, like last year. Shut up, Parks. <laughs> At 32, 33, 34 for me, maybe. No. Yeah. You're still a bit of a delinquent, yeah. I was 34? No, a delinquent? No, you aren't. Not Well, define delinquent. You know what I mean. yeah, yeah, like 30 yeah. year old delinquent. Right. Like shit oh. that you just right. shouldn't be doing at that age. Right. <laughs> I mean, I think we're going to be doing shit forever that we shouldn't be doing at the age we're at. We I mean, won't be here forever. <clears throat> well, I mean, the as robots long as we're are coming. <laughs> the robots. And the pipples. <laughs> and Wale. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Takashi's sentencing is Friday. I don't know how to feel about it, so I'm just going to wait, wait and see what's going on. I read something on the way here that the prosecutor is, like, really pushing for three years. Sounds like, sounds prosec- is prosecutor-ish. This, is this still going back to the uh, the underage minor shit? I thought that, that was... Yeah, because yes. he took a plea deal in 2015 that if you act like a great civilian and all this shit, you know, right. uh, then they'll drop the shit. And now uh, prosecution so is arguing that. So, so it's that. back now. And they want him to register as a sex criminal. Yeah. Like, they, the prosecutor's really trying to go for the whole maximum shit that you can get from this. Is there more evidence that has come out? I'm not sure. Well, no, the prosecutor is arguing that he just broke the terms of the uh, plea arrangement. He's uh, been so, arrested yeah. multiple times. Right. Like, you just haven't been a model citizen. So right. now we want to hammer you. Gotcha. Well, yo, the system is so crazy, man. I mean, is it? It is. It is. It is. I, I, in, this case, in, this case, it is. in this case, is it? The system is absolutely crazy. I agree with you. That, let me just in, go in back on that. In this particular instance, he's asking, yeah. are are they wrong in what they're saying? I mean, the, l- listen, man. If, if you see somebody, you know, we all make mistakes. So that whole sure. being on probation shit... It's basically like it's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. Absolutely. Like it's basically like you put them out in the world. Like who's not gonna get a ticket or pulled over or searched or like I think the that issue happens. is that he didn't just get pulled over. 
No, I understand. No, I understand. He has been, you know, arrested they, they for, have, for they, things. Prosecutors are saying that he's tied into the Chief Keith shooting. They say that immediately after it was done, he went on social media and bragged about it. That's what they're saying. I don't want to read the entire report, yeah. but no, I get what you're saying. They, but they're again, just alleging some pretty serious shit. And and that's what it is: is allegations. But it's like once they think you're a certain way, the system like they're gonna paint you as that, and it's like okay, now we're gonna fucking go go sit down for three years. I agree. You know what's kind of the catch twenty two as well. And I'm not defending Takashi or not defending him. You're defending him. This would probably be his way of saying, "Yeah, this is how I am going to be an actual legal citizen and pay my taxes and feed my family and continue on in the world." Is this rapping shit that you are now arresting me for? No, they're not oh, arresting him for listen, rapping shit. They're arresting him for he's shooting get everything that comes right? along with how like, Takashi raps. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm completely no, don't give with you. No, that's not what you're getting arrested for shooting. Shooting. I understand that he's not. He hasn't been like a model citizen, in quote unquote, whatever that means. But it means not model. shooting at people. <laughs> that's what model citizen. Is that what he was arrested for, though? That's what I'm saying. I thought that's what it was. I'm yeah, not sure. Know, but they don't know. They're not. They don't. They're not saying he shot at anybody. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It. I but thought it was because of the Chief Keith. It is. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but he, he was arrested for the Chief Keith thing. Then why is he not? They're saying that he had, he was connected to it. So oh. They're saying he was so affiliated. So it's a conspiracy charge. Yeah, or like it's just that's what I'm saying. It's just like, oh, okay. If I didn't they know this feel like if they feel like you may have had something to do with that. I thought this was for the gun that they found in his crib. That's what I thought this was for. It could be that could be tied. None there of too. the things you guys are naming sound like model citizen. Yeah, no, I just I'm want not, to point that I'm out. I'm not <laughs> suggesting right. that Takashi. Nah, he ain't shoot him himself. <laughs> right. Right. Who, who, else who doesn't have a gun in the house? I don't. Like you're allowed to have a gun in your house. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, you no, are. It has to be. Well, you would yes, have you to, are. It would, it would have to be legally registered. Of course. Then what? I, then what are you? It's not of course. You're saying two different things. You're not allowed to have a gun in your house unless it's legally registered. Listen, if we're talking about drug charges and shit like that, then yes, I think that the system is completely fucked up. If you're talking about people shooting at each other. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's Listen, not man. what I was speaking to. I was speaking to Takashi. He's found his lane of trolling on the internet about. And I'm sticking Some to Some illegal the, activity the And I think that's what's always fucked <laughs> Well what I will say is this Because I don't want to argue about Legalities I don't, I don't know shit about that Good if, word in, in the event that He's uh, He's arrested And sentenced To like the max Or two three years Or whatever <laughs> Hip hop's gonna be Pretty boring man <laughs> <laughs> I will miss his answers I, I, I will say that Yeah As, as much then, as As much as I've said about him And as much shit Ed shit as he's done He's entertained He's entertaining, man. For sure. He is. And I hope that he's uh, innocent of all the things that he's accused of. So let me say that. All right. Way well, to go, Parks. Yeah, I mean. See what happens on Friday. But in the event that you're shooting at people, there should be some sort of. Maul, do you think you'll do like an IG live when the results come in? from Maul's Wi-Fi isn't the best for IG live. I just want to point that out. <laughs> and everybody knows it but him. He's staring at the phone saying, no, my shit is good. It's 2,000 people typing. Nah, a little blurry, dog. Like, <laughs> can't really see. Yeah, not, not really seeing what's you know, happening. Production is working on that. Working on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Production team is working on that. Yeah, you know get it saying? together. We're yeah, nah, we, we're working through some things, man. You I know, like man. that you're doing IG Live. Now. That was my first effort, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know I don't do that shit. I well, think, I'm figuring it out. I'm learning them IG Live streets a little bit. I listen to your other podcast, too. While I was cleaning my house. Wait, what? Oh, the uh, other people's podcast. Yeah, I'm always yeah. a guest on someone's podcast. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He called me a nerd, but I didn't take it as a diss. It was cool. Called Rory a nerd? I let it go. He is a nerd. What do you say about me? I forgot. Probably shithead. I think I said something like that. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Better than nerd. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that shout out to uh, Corey Cambridge, man. Dude I met and wanted me to come kick it with him. No, no shout out to like, his like podcast. His pod- <laughs> I like what he's doing. Like, he's just, it's basically his podcast is him, you know, he's, Fans of other podcasts and, and people on other podcasts, and he's sitting down kicking. Oh, so he's them. podcasting about podcasts that he personally likes. That's meta. Like he's not just <laughs> snatching people like that he personally likes, which is dope. I think that's a good good idea. Like because he knows about each podcast that he's has a guest on from I'm a, a podcast. Listen. I'm a listen. So yeah, it was cool. It was a cool conversation we had. All right. Podcast about podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Just out there, just dissing his co-host. So. Someone got to do a podcast about podcasts about podcasts. <laughs> no, it was a good interview. I enjoyed it more. Thank you. Yeah, I spoke awesome. well about you guys. I wouldn't give a fuck if you didn't. <laughs> I'm lying. I definitely don't. I don't speak care what you say about me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you think I? You think I rely on you to speak my good graces? Yes. No. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, Spice from Love and Hip Hop allegedly bleached her skin. 
I'm not certain of that, so don't Spice quote me. Spice is from other things, Joe. But there are some. Yeah, of course she is. But I'm I'm seeing her on Love and Hip Hop. She's so, an I mean, accomplished uh, musician in the dance hall world. Yeah, we have to get rid of that. The, the, every time we say Love and Hip Hop, <laughs> people just hear unaccomplished musician. <laughs> I wasn't saying that's, that that's she true. wasn't. <laughs> no, no I, that usually is how it goes. Yeah, usually like, I know, so I want to make sure Spice gets that some respect I did, on the name. Yeah, I don't agree with that about Love and Hip Hop. Of course I'm biased, but course, I don't agree. Of course. Jim because Jones is accomplished to me. I was going to say, but after that, there was a long stretch where it wasn't. Jimmy started it and Jimmy was accomplished. Listen, between Jimmy, K. Michelle, me, Caleb. Cardi, uh, Graf. Cardi was not accomplished at that time. She definitely That's wasn't. True. I'm just talking about who they who they got, like just through, throughout the years. Okay, well, but you, and you know, but Joe, you skipped like six seasons when you went from Jimmy to K. Michelle and you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's where the stick came from. Oh, like no. <laughs> it ain't come from that because I was getting Somebody dissed and I came right after here? Jimmy. I came right after Jimmy and I yeah, was getting killed. Yeah, but Love and Hip Hop is known for having the artists that are kind of, you know... Trash. More, more Not, love than hip hop. Yeah, it's definitely more love than hip hop. <laughs> when I, I went don't know on, there's much love on there either. When I went on, I thought I was a so very res- sleeping with everybody. It's love. I thought I was a very respected MC, and no, no matter no, no, what no. happens on television, you can't take that away. Boy, was I, was I wrong? They took it away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they definitely sure took, they, they took it away fast. I'm like this trash ass nigga out of here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I was shocked that Spice did that because Spice is like a legend in the dance. Yeah, but I heard, I, oh, yeah. I heard that was just I didn't. She didn't really do that. I heard that was just for the video. She, I think she was trying to bring awareness to it. Yeah, for those if that I'm don't know, mistaken. she deleted all the pictures on her Instagram and made herself look very, very light-skinned in the picture. Yeah, she was definitely looking like me in the face. And yeah. she doesn't look like you in the face. Yeah, I don't want Spice to look like me But in the yeah, face. I guess that was a, a marketing <laughs> ploy. If to... I'm Spice, you Mariah Lynn. Bro, <laughs> all right. You never said anything that we actually had to fight. Now we got to fight. <laughs> I know it's been jokes Rory on this podcast. Smoke. Yo, I hate when I go to lean on Rory while and I'm I laughing, and he makes his arm hard. He wants you to know it. He wants you to know it. Yeah, but chill out, man. This is me. We're fucking friends. I'm to flex a little bit. What the fuck is he making his arm hard around me for? No, nigga, like, watch out. I'm Mariah Lynn. She's got her biceps. True, true, true. I fuck with Mariah Lynn. Marori. And well, so does all, Rory, actually. First of all, that's Marori. a fact. I've been defending Mariah Lynn. Rory music. loves Mariah Lynn. Like, I don't know why he took it that way. Ice likes her in that type of way. I like her music. Oh, she got yeah. some slappers? Ice likes her yes, like that. Yes, she do. Some slappers. Okay. Park, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Nah, Mariah Lynn makes some eye music. Fam, Sin has been trying to manage Mariah Lynn in, in our house for at least three years. Even if Mariah Lynn don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> she loves Mariah Lynn. Okay. She she too thinks Mariah has really good music. Okay, that's well, interesting. You know what's interesting, and we 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 running out of time, so we won't talk about it now. But one day we got to have a conversation about uh, just a consumer's meter between when an artist is good versus if they're actually cool. You know how those two how those two interchange? Because like that's a fact. A lot of people say Mariah Lynn has good music. Mm-hmm. They're just not viewing her that way. Because of however they're viewing her. Well, that's the negative side of what love and hip hop can do for an artist. But, yeah, but, uh, but I'm just talking about how that exists in hip hop, period. Like, yeah, cool, how we view yeah, you first all, comes first. There's a lot of cool people that make really shitty music it's that true. are praised. And niggas don't say a fucking word. <laughs> yeah, I Boy, agree. I be waiting. Yeah, you agree because you run off a few names before these mics come on every week. If we know the <laughs> niggas. Like who? I'm not going to name them. No, you can name them. I won't. But well, who I run off that doesn't make good music? You've, you've you have a consistent people. name. You've, yeah, you've you have one people. consistent name that you go to that just won't be here, but you've said it at least five times this month. That that they don't make good music or yeah. they do make good music? Don't. They don't. It's cool. Don't, but it's fine. There's a lot of people that don't. Um, you got to tell me who, 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 that, who that is. I will. Don't you worry about it. What else is going on? Netflix cancels Luke Cage finally. Black people, I know. <laughs> we got a root for everything black. Look, we no, got, we don't. We got Black Panther. Let's just be happy. Yeah, with that. man, we don't need Luke Cage. I like the man. first season. Yeah, I wasn't feeling Luke Cage. The no, second, I wasn't second, feeling Luke Cage. Got a People seem to like me. it on the first season. Right? I like the first season. Niggas like any black superhero. I like the first season. The second season when he started doing like YouTube shit, it got weird for me. And it, 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 Word, and he I'm started good. doing that like second season episode two. Yeah, it was very good. early was, on. They were making I was it good weird. On that, yeah. Yeah, then I start seeing niggas from my timeline on Luke Cage. I'm like, all right. 
<laughs> the fuck is going on? You hang, I was never on that Luke Cage wave. Um, let's see what else. Uh, a million little things. No, I'm not talking to y'all about that. The haunting at the hill. Haunting at the Hill House on Netflix. I've been meaning to watch that. Good show. Is it? I'm I'm at episode four. So if it gets trash after that, I just found a whole me. new. If you're like horror movies, there's a whole app called Shutter. I don't know if I should even say it because it pl- sounds like a plug, but they just have all horror movies for like five bucks a month or something like that. It's kind of Can they use the code parks? No, I don't, I don't have a plug. <laughs> I wish I had a plug. Okay. Can they use the code? <laughs> but Put that code and that shit going to shut down. <laughs> I heard something this morning that said, and, and Maul is a Laker fan, probably doesn't want to hear this, but I heard something this morning that said LeBron is working on um, a remake of uh, Friday the 13th. <laughs> what? What LeBron needs to reach? work on a remake of his free throw percentage in fourth quarter. <laughs> That's what LeBron needs to work on. Work on getting that free throw percentage up in the fourth quarter. That's what he needs to work on. Oh, Don't work a- on anything else. We get it. I understand. I love the fact that LeBron does a lot of things in business and in the communities. I love that. He's one of the greatest players ever. But when it's season time, it's season time. Lock in, focus. And I mean, LeBron has you know been to the finals nine years, whatever. He's obviously a focused player, but it's like, Come on, don't come to L.A. with this shit, man. Lakers fans are kind of like Knicks fans. I can't you have You ready him. to trade him? No, hell no. You're I mean, ready not, to drop Rondo. It's not about... Oh, well, for that shit he did, yeah, yeah. for sure. That was... That's just that's just a disrespectful thing dropped. to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that. I wanted to see Chris Paul's little State Farm twin pop up and <laughs> jump in there. With the mustache and the glasses. Yeah, yeah. Cliff, Cliff, didn't the Cliff girls Paul. get into it? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I read that story. Game, yeah, wife, yeah Rondo wife was about that action, too, huh? Ride or die. That's it's just up. crazy, man. But yeah, LeBron needs to focus on Shout his free throw. I like it. Y'all ever had a fight in front of your girlfriend? No. Or no. a girl you was fucking? Uh, have you ever had any fights? Yeah, not, yeah of course. <laughs> not, not in front of a girl. Though. In front of a girl you liked? Have you ever seen your girl? Oh, yeah, have you ever sure. seen your girl fight? Oh, uh, not No, you, I've seen you, the girl I've, I was just, fucking fight. You have just trumped me there. <laughs> that question is much more important than all of this yeah. bullshit I'm asking. Yeah. Uh, I saw one girl fight. I don't have exes, but I saw one of them fight. Right. I was I felt good about my choice. <laughs> <laughs> she, held it, she held it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. She held it down. Yeah. I'm very confident in in sin. Yeah. I'm, I have no issues. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah. Or oh, the way she punched but, but, homeboy at uh that do say Palooza that time. <laughs> but niggas say that until say until they see their girl Joe. like. See, I don't. I mm-hmm. I like for to know that my girl can fight. But I don't want my girl to fight. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to know that she can handle herself. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want her to fight. Because yeah, no, it's something about if, <laughs> if you out in somewhere and your girl get punched in her nose, like, come on, fam. Yeah. Like, you ain't going to take that well. I don't care how tough you think you are. It's Seeing your girl get punched in the face is like. Yeah, but if your girl's, you know what I mean? She can hold it down. And, nah, man. You know, fuck that. The girl don't need to be it. out there fighting. I agree shit. with you. Fuck no, that. yes, you do. Nah. What if, what, if, <laughs> what if, like, your kid is around and, like, she's protecting the child? Yeah. You want to know she has some hands, though. From what, what? What instance do you need to see your girl fight? No instance. I only need. No, that's not true. If, if I don't I, ever want to see my girl fight. I'm sorry. Nah. You, more, <laughs> you've never had a girlfriend. I've had, I've had girlfriends before. What if you were getting in a fight and she was just kind of throwing some kicks in while, you know what I mean? Nah. You don't want to see that? Because then if I'm, she's making herself. Well, no, nah, but what if you're winning now? and she's just getting in nah, a couple little. Nah, ch-ch-ch. I got this. Fall back. <laughs> Remy? Ma. You can't buy your Remy gun in and be Remy. That's like a pregnant woman thinking she could drink Henny. You grow one butt chin, oh, you Jay Lenny. You wear a shower curtain, now you JT Penny. You gotta have real skill, you gotta boot for that. If it's over a stack, would, would you, you really, really shoot, shoot for that? that? Unlike a lot of these felons, whether whack or hot, at least I can say I killed every one I shot. Hey. My blood, sweat, and tears in the making my bail. Still, every team's number one pick in the jail. You could choose any clan or solar system. Pick a son, 22, AK, assault rifle. Pick a gun, pick a gun. Why are you hating? I haven't said anything. <laughs> but the yeah. look on your face says you hating. Uh, no, but I'm, I haven't said anything. I'm just listening to the tunes. If I was with Remy, I wouldn't want my girl to fight. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> At least Papoose definitely doesn't have any problems that we would have. Because Remy will knock anybody out. That's a fact. Well, no, the bamboos to knock somebody out. That's a fact, too. <laughs> like, that couple together. Yeah. It's both of them. It is. And when we be on set sometimes, 
Like because I have a relationship with them too. Right. Like, but we be around other people too. But I have a relationship with them. So I crack some jokes that are symbolic of our relationship. And they always respond like, Yeah, we cool, but you better stop telling these jokes around other motherfuckers before they think they could joke with us like that and then we gotta fuck niggas up. And then I'd be like, Nah, you right. So I'm gonna just stop joking with y'all. <laughs> Dill is like that too. You can have a million jokes with him, but if you joke with him around somebody that he don't joke with, now nah, everybody gotta get it. <laughs> That makes sense. That's old yeah. school shit. Yeah, you gotta respect that. Yeah, I'm in. Shout out yeah. to Dill. Uh, did we miss anything? No, because nothing really happened this week anyway. Uh, let's see. Do I have a list somewhere? Oh, the nasty doc. We ain't even talk about R. Kelly's nasty doc that he's got coming. Uh, well, well, it's not no, him. It's not, it's not him. Yeah. It's not him. There's a doc coming called Survive Surviving R. Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't even want to. No, talk about I, it. listen. Glad these victims can get their stories off. For real. I don't yeah. know if I'm going to tune in. I'll be honest with you, though. The last Shit, I'm watching one. that. <laughs> I'm cool. You ain't watched the last one where he was uh, interviewing his brother and all that shit? No. There's going to be a lot the of last, R. Kelly The last docs. piece of cinema of R. Kelly's that I watched we don't will, will be the you. last. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's funny. The last piece of cinema <laughs> that I watched. <laughs> I won't ask what it was. <laughs> we know what it was. Yo, so we gonna act like Charlemagne didn't cancel that town hall with uh Kanye? Charlemagne's full of shit. <laughs> Charlemagne's full of shit. I, I I'm trying to get answers to this thing. Y'all just mad because he kept you off the podcast docket. I'm just mad when two and two don't make four and somebody don't tell me. If Kanye West and <laughs> Charlemagne are doing a joint live podcast where they both I don't, I don't know this to be factual, so somebody call me if I'm wrong. Where they both are selling bundles, Charlemagne for his book. <laughs> I thought you were talking about hair. And Kanye for his album, <laughs> well, right? selling hair, too. That's a, that's a wild bundle. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, wouldn't you, wouldn't you think that, that that would sell out rather quickly? You would think. If you see Kanye West and Charlemagne with in, in, incentives for people to come, for everybody. Wouldn't you think they would sell out in a few days? Yeah. Sure. There's no way on God's green earth I'm buying this bullshit that Charlemagne is selling about, oh, no, we can't talk about mental illness because now he really looking mentally ill. No, nigga, he been looking mentally ill. <laughs> and yo ass, your opportunistic ass hopped right on that opportunity. I'm not mad at you. I'm not calling you an opportunistic uh, person to diss you. Humans are opportunistic. For sure. But you just can't tell me, you can't make me believe that now Kanye's really wilding now, so now you canceled it when we the, canceled Tommy, it right after the, the Tommy Lauren girl was wilding when you took your ass up there and took a picture with her. You didn't care about the backlash. You didn't care about anything. You said, I think that we need dialogue with these type of people. And I said, all right. <laughs> when you took your ass walking through the fucking village and with all the Christmas trees with Kanye... He was, he was wilding he then. <laughs> you still flew your ass out there, had Ebro mad he couldn't get a flight. Yeah, well, so we now, that, so now I'm supposed. To, but what I'm saying is, Kanye stop answering that call. He stopped answering. He, he he went he went black. He he went to Africa. He's on a whole different wave right now. Like he ain't thinking about shit. Well, Charlamagne canceled it. What right after the Donald Trump meeting? Yeah. So that would be his excuse. He was. He's now really wilding because he met with the president. Is that what Charlemagne's saying? No, I haven't it, seen his response. He, he hasn't saw his heard. Cancer. That's what okay. he's saying. He hasn't heard from Kanye. He's saying Kanye oh. is really wilding now. So Kanye just, hasn't listen, returned any I mean, calls, messages, emails. He's Char just, Charlemagne is my man, one hundred grand. But I do not believe that line for a second. I don't know if it was low ticket sales. I might be inclined to believe that. more. It's definitely not low. I don't think sales. it was low think, ticket sales. I think Ye is just I don't that even think unpredictable. The tickets went on sale at, at at that point yet, did they? I don't know I don't anybody know. who said they bought a ticket yet. I don't even think it got that far. I think they, it, they talked about it, could, something in private. It couldn't have, because I ain't hear a word about a refund. This and and I figured I, somebody would have bought that ticket. I think yeah. that they just spoke about something amongst each other. It was an idea. And, you know, Charlemagne jumped at it. And flyers were made and posts were made. And, sort of like the chance in Kanye. And Kanye, Kanye stopped answering Or watch the throne, too. Or watch he stopped throne answering too. calls. Yeah, if I was Charlemagne, I would just say that shit. You can't say that. Why not? Because then it makes you look like you ain't, you know, like you and Kanye don't have that relationship like that. Like you would like for people to think. Who that. thinks that they have that relationship? People think like that. 
Oh, Charlamagne thinks that. No, he does not. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. I don't, don't see know. how anybody can no, think they have no, that don't. relationship. No, he don't. You don't think that. You don't no, think that Charlamagne thinks he, thinks he has a relationship, relationship with Kanye? With Kanye that, right now. that. You don't think he has that relationship word. with Kanye? No, I don't believe that Charlamagne believes he has that relationship with uh, Kanye West. No, I don't. That is the word I'm you. focused on. I heard you loud and clear. I don't know that anybody has that relationship with Kanye where they can rely on him not being erratic. Someone having that relationship and someone thinking. That they have that relationship is two different. I don't pressures. believe. I don't believe that Charlamagne believes that. Okay, not at all. Not anymore. You don't. Well, maybe. Um. What else is here? I keep saying I want to give Ella May her flowers while she can still smell them, uh, and we never get around to it. But Ella May's album is good, and I'm saying that because I really shitted on that what you call it record, and I will continue to shit on that what you call it record. The album is good. The album is good. Didn't yeah. we say that though when it came out? I thoroughly enjoyed I just, it off the first three listens. I, well, no, it came out. We did the push your shit. Like we, yeah, we yeah. did one. But like by the time I got to sit with it, we had a lot going on. And then all I remembered was, damn, I really shitted on what you call it because I hate that record. So I never want people to think that I hate an album that I really, really, really enjoy. And that LMA album is a really good album. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Um, so congrats to her. This Friday, Tory Lanez drops. Uh, I already said my thoughts on that. Something else drops I'm looking forward to this Friday. I just don't remember it right now. I don't know. And if you're an old nigga like me, Sean Stockman put an EP out that's kind of pretty good. OC just put Yo, out. Joe been talking about this. <laughs> From digging in the crates. Yo, you've been talking about Sean Stockman for at least two weeks now. Well, it just came out last week. Yeah, but you was when we did the, uh, the push interview, you was like, I can't wait to go upstairs and... Turn on the new Sean Stockman. <laughs> I'm like, who? I don't know who that is. One of the uh, members from Boys to Men. Oh, okay. You never heard Visions of a Sunset? Look, he got <laughs> That's his go to. Oh, That's the only record that wait, Joe Wait, no, I'm talking about. No, no, Joe Keith. No, 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 <laughs> because just say something else. But why? <laughs> because you can't get. Have you ever heard Visions of a Sunset? Like, no, Joe. We've heard it. But that was in 96, I think that record came out. Hey. Oh, it's a beautiful record. I on it, so. I, I, this this beautiful might be my record. sleeper, man. Hold up. No, that's not your sleeper. But now he's telling me what no, my sleeper is. That's your sleeper, nigga. Visions of a Sunset no. can't be my sleeper. Why? No. <laughs> Tell me why And look me in the eye nigga I don't want to look you in your eye while But what's wrong with this is playing in the background But what's wrong with this It's nothing It's a great record Oh <laughs> Come on Sean Hey Yo, Turn this off <laughs> No Turn that off my nigga Great record <laughs> I but can't you, tell. But you got to stop. You, you, I cut but it you, on and you kept but, saying turn it off. But for the last two weeks, that's all you've been talking about is this Sean Stockman. I want to get into my visions of a sunset bag. Okay, get into your visions of a sunset bag. <laughs> you told me to turn it off. Roy, what's up with you? <laughs> Head on a swivel now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy. I don't understand how you just started loving this record in the past like two weeks like this. Mo, I've loved this record since 1994. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah, we got sleepers, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Please. You should set it off. <laughs> there you go. All right. There go your sleeper right there. No, it's not my sleeper. So what we doing? Jeremiah, Todd Allison album, Friday? Oh, is that what we missed? Yeah, I think As far Friday, as releases right? that was coming out Friday? Yeah. Listen, man. The single was great. Yeah, for sure. The, the big... The, the, I can't... Why am I blanking on the name? Jeremiah. Nah, I feel bad. The, it the wasn't shit the, is everywhere. <laughs> it wasn't the dangerous one, right? That's not a no, no, no. no that's, Meek that's Meek Mill shit. No, that's P and B. That's a few niggas on that record. That's P and B and Jeremiah. P and B and Jeremiah. Oh, that record is hard though. All right, Mike, check one, two, one, two. That is it. Uh, the light. I'm talking about the light is a single. That record should have did more. It's still not. That record is hard. That record is hard still. Shout out to Berg, Jeremiah. Um, Ty Dollar Sign. Elliot hit me and told me that album was hard. So look for that album Friday. We announced that it was coming three years ago. <laughs> so pardon me if I'm not uberly excited about it, but I'll be waiting for it. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that we missed that's really important? Not really. Slow news week. Absolutely. I want to congratulate us on our double platinum Steve and Victor episode. Round of applause. Over 2 million listens and views. The podcast awards might not recognize that as being a feat. But man, it's a feat. 
So I want to, I want to congratulate. No, we're not getting any plaques. <laughs> we're not getting anything. Uh, I want to, but but a congratulations. Okay. So congratulations. Take that and mosey on, mosey on off. <laughs> That's what I did. Fuck it. I was happy about it. Uh, shout out to Push, Steve, and Victor, Karen, still everybody that was able to make that happen. Uh, and that's it. We are out of here until Saturday. See you next time. Peace and love. Peace, love, and flowers. Flowers seem important. Harmony. And yeah, harmony. You can't well, have harmony. flowers without harmony. Yeah. You can't, yeah, but. Peace, love, flowers, and harmony to everyone. <laughs> I bid you adieu.